The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. All right, everybody. This is Mike Long. And tell me if you are ready for a barn burner. Give me the number one or say, yeah, I'm ready or, or whatever. If you are ready for an absolute barn burner, because we got one today. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's fired up. We've got a ton of people live. We've got over 100 podcasters live already and people pouring in. Um, and why is Brad Mabry in the audience instead of in an organizer? <laughs> Brad, you didn't get the, uh, the the right link. All right, let me let me move Brad to organizer status. Give me just a second here. There you are. We've got a lot of people in the audience right now. Okay, um, let's uh, let, let's begin with the Lord's prayer, and we'll go from there. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. This is not temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Okay, um, get a little bit of background noise. I'll, uh, I'll soon find out who that is. I, uh, uh, that's, that's probably me, Mike. Ah, Jimmy. Jim, Jim, Jimmy? 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 Yeah, sorry, sorry about that. There's some uh, work going on across the street here. <laughs> Jimmy Kelly was a bullfrog. Come on. I, I know people are going to sing. I, I have a lot of people on the Facebook <laughs> said that they were going to sing. A very good friend of mine. I never understood a single word he said, but he really helped me rank my websites and Amazon pages. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, see, people are singing. They're singing. All right, good. Um, Today is so exciting. Let me begin with a pre-announcement. I just wrapped up a launch jacking alert, and this will be a little bit timely. You may be watching this after the fact, so you know if it happens later on, don't worry about it. But there's a launch jacking opportunity that's coming up. It's launching tomorrow, so it's kind of a last-second thing. It's something called JV Wealth Blueprint. I think that there's going to be some really good commissions in it. And I, uh, I just wrapped up a video with Peter Parks and Andrew Fox, who are the guys behind it. So if you're excited about that and you want like a, an insider scoop to how to get to the JV page and stuff like that, send me an email at omg at omgmachines.com and I'll get that over to you if you're, you know, really want to, and something that's going to be a high dollar thing and it's, it's going to go really good for people. Um, okay. So um, we are talking today, two big topics. We're going to be talking about Amazon plus Google, which is very different than just Amazon alone. If someone's trying to sell you just Amazon alone, training on just Amazon alone, just say no. Just say no because it is much more powerful to combine Amazon with Google. It's a real rocket booster uh, booster shot. We're going to be talking about Amazon plus Google, and we are going to continue to talk about Death Star Reloaded. So this is going to be a huge barn burner of an event. It's going to be really big. We have three very special guests. Uh, online for this uh, uh, for this special event, which uh, gets me especially fired up, especially excited, and so it's going to be a biggie. Um, now, uh, uh, Brad, are you there? Yes, sir. All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is Brad Mabry. Let's pull Brad's Facebook up. Brad Mabry, and we have an all new module coming out with Brad. This is uh, this is uh, this year. Uh, this year, wife. Um, I can't see your screen. You can't see my screen. See, I need Greg to tell me when you can't see my screen. All right, I will, I will show my screen. So this is, this is Brad's uh, Facebook page. This is Brad's wife, and this is his. Uh, this is your lawyer, right? Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm in bad shape right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we dressed him up for Easter. So. Okay, great. Uh, so we, we have we have Brad on the line. Brad, are you excited about bringing this uh, Amazon module? To uh, project yeah, X, extremely. Uh, I know a lot of people have been asking about e-commerce in the uh, Facebook group, so this will be e-commerce on steroids. I think. Now, so. now, now, shouldn't they just go off and, and buy w w one of these amazing programs on Amazon instead? Wouldn't that be way better for them? Uh, yeah, because you only uh, get to sell through Amazon and not Google. So, um, so like that way you, you can enjoy like you yeah. can enjoy like one fifth to one tenth the, the results. And yeah, and that work. way you don't get too stressed out about having too much money. Right. You know. So, so it, it, yeah. listen, if money is a stressor for you, if having too much money is a stressor for you, uh, I'm sure you can find a webinar, an amazing webinar on amazing Amazon techniques right now somewhere 
where you can achieve one fifth to one tenth the results and spend a lot more money and have a lot less fun doing it. So uh, if you want to head over to another webinar, just I'm sure if you haven't taken our advice and gotten off of everybody else's list, then then I'm sure you're getting bombarded today. Give, give me give me the number one if you would like to make one fifth to one tenth as much money uh, as what you can make with what we're showing you and have it be much more stressful, much higher risk. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Scott Schaff says pro bono. <laughs> okay, great. So, so this is going to be exciting. Now, um, Mike Swanson, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Mike, uh, you're going to reveal today. Um, Swanson, you are going to reveal uh, t t today something that you have made uh, an actual specific Amazon listing that you've made a ton, ton of money on. You've made thousands of dollars a month on it, month after month, and you're going to show us how it is that you're going to take this thing to the next level. Uh, you basically use Google on the front end to build a list and, and to use your list to jack this product up uh, uh, into the into the heavy categories um, you know, where, where you're on top of things and you're getting lots of traffic that way. But you're actually about to take some of Greg and Jimmy's techniques and, and rocket things up, up even higher. Are you willing to take us inside of that today? Yeah, sure, for sure. Would, would you, would yeah, you folks, now are you sure that you don't want to go to another webinar and make uh, one one fifth to one tenth as much money and work much harder. <laughs> Radio <Sorry>. silence. <laughs> okay, my, 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 Mike would prefer to make uh, uh, five, five to ten times as much money and, and work work uh, far less. Uh, now we have one other guy on here, Jimmy, Jimmy Kelly. Jimmy, are What's you there, up, Mike? Yeah, I'm here. Can you hear me? Yeah, is it much smarter? Yeah, is it much smart? Isn't it much smarter just to do Amazon to just go over to China and 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 buy products like like pearls and, <laughs> um, and, and 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 hold your breath and hope that that the Amazon fairy is going to come and, and just give you lots of money and just ignore the power of the real Google search engines? Is that is that a you, smart move? Yeah, you mean like forty thousand dollars worth of pearls that never sell? So wait, you're, you're, but 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 on the plus side, someday, you know, if you get your mom to write you a review on Amazon, and your your best friend and your best friend's uh, groundhog to write you reviews on Amazon, then won't you eventually, you know, at least be able to make you know one fifth to one tenth as much money as you can make if if you harness the power of the real Google search engine? Well, you know, it'd be a great Mother's Day gift. Um. <laughs> Forty thousand dollars worth of fake pearls. Yeah, yeah, you know it's all about traffic. You know, draw that traffic in wherever you can get it. Well, and and now let me ask you this: If I go to um, let's let's say I go to Amazon right here, and if I search for um, you know uh, even something like stock trading, uh, you, you see know, what comes up if you do that. So if I if I search for if I search for stock trading here now. Using the power of the real Google search engines and building a list, Mike was able to make this this book right here, Strategic Stock Trading, uh, the number two book on all of Amazon. And actually, Mike pulled up something really neat. We're going to show you how to how to leverage that even more. Um, but uh, but the thing is, if I search for it here, then it's one of many books, and and that results in a lot of sales. That's good. That is good. But it's one of many books that people are searching from. But if we were to go to Google and type in stock trading today, and now t as of today, like E-Trade, Investopedia, and TD Ameritrade and Wikipedia come up. Uh, Jimmy, if, if you were to predict, if we were to look at, at page one in a couple months from now, do you think that it would be possible for Mike to have an Amazon listing on here? Oh yeah, within a matter of weeks. Within a matter of weeks. And, and Jimmy, from your experience, uh, what what happens when when there's an Amazon link on here? Uh, what's you know what follows? What what ensues? Well, you usually generate at least four times as much money as you're making on uh, on Amazon typically. Right, oh, because yeah. <laughs> be pretty incredible. <laughs> yeah, because because people see that page, they they trust Amazon, and we see this in category after category. This is uh, I'll, I'll pull up. Uh, let me see iPhone amplifier. Uh, this is something that, that uh, me and Brad uh, already kind of exposed in our module. Right here, 
you see at this Amazon page right here is number one. If, if you click in on this, and this is your listing, you're not competing with a bunch of, I mean, yeah, theoretically, somebody can come down here and look at these lesser offers here, but you're at least, you know, at the top of the page, like you're gonna make the sale. Yeah, there's okay. no doubt about it. And, and, and these things convert like great. Jimmy, uh, uh, over, over Christmas, a client, you, you helped a client, uh, uh, how much money? $100,000 within a month's time. What one hundred thousand dollars in one month's time? What was the profitability of that? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know exactly what his profit margin was, um, but his pure profit was a hundred thousand. So I mean, he he sold oh, wait, the more pure than profit that, but was that's what he, Yeah, the pure profit was a hundred thousand. I'm not sure. You know, between Amazon fees and and some of the other costs, sure. what it was total, but. Yeah, so, so, th so this is something, we're gonna get into this. There's four big ways to make money with this. I, and and what, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take about the first 45 minutes an hour of this event, and we're gonna get into why this, this very special OMG Amazon, this, this Amazon plus Google OMG style is so amazing. I think that absolutely everybody should do it, okay? This is a lot like Day Job Killer, okay? I believe that everybody should be doing some of this at least, okay? Um, and I'm going to get inside of how, how important I think that is. And then what we're going to do right around the one hour mark, you know, 45 minutes to an hour in, I want to switch over. I want to tell you something else that I think that every OMG -er should either be doing right now, or at least have on the calendar for ne the next thing to do, which is death star reloaded. How many people are already getting started with death star reloaded? Death star reloaded. Good. Wow. A lot of people have already gotten started with it. Well, you guys are going to be really excited because we're going to get more into that. Oh, a lot of people have. Wonderful. Are you seeing that, Jimmy? Jimmy yeah, that's that? awesome, Mike. Good. Good. A lot of people are getting started with that. Now, Janet wants uh, to yeah, know. Yeah, that, that's awesome. Janet wants to know, so the guy making $100,000 uh, in one month uh, is an Amazon associate or as an Amazon seller. This was as a product owner, uh, uh, Jan Janet. And and we may get into uh, to some of what he was doing. We haven't decided on that particular thing just yet. But what I do want to do is I want to start off by letting people know um, what it is, how it is that you can make money with, uh, with this whole uh, Amazon thing, with, with our version of doing Amazon. Um, so I'm going to just sh shift to rich text here. I'm going to pull up my little, uh, pull the new little, uh, document situation here for you. Okay, so <clears throat> there are four big ways that OMGers can make money um, to make money with Amazon plus Google. Okay, so first of all, does everybody already understand what we're talking about when I say Amazon plus Google? Give me the number one if you think that you already understand. Give me the number two if you feel like you're a little bit in the dark on it. And of course, it's fine to be a little bit in the dark on it. That's one of the reasons why we do these acceleration webbies to help shine a light on things because OMG is a city on a hill. Okay, see some number one, seeing a few number twos. Okay, so it turns out, Jimmy, is it very hard or very easy to rank a web page, an Amazon page, to get a page like this and to rank it in the real Google search engine? It's very easy. It's a lot easier than you would having ranking a site. There's a few things you have to pay attention to when you're doing it, though. Okay, great. So I if think we, go ahead. One Mike. thing um, we we were talking. I was looking the other day about books. You know, the, the idea of ranking my book, the Amazon book in, in the Google search results, um, is so powerful. And you know, I've never tried to do it. And if you look, I look. If you look on the stock trading term. There is a book on Amazon that shows up on the second or third page. And then I looked at other terms too and saw sometimes they show up on the first page, sometimes on the second page, but usually the first or second page. But then I went and I used Open uh, Site Explorer and looked at the, you know, what, how many links are these guys getting to do it, right? And it was generally like one, you know. It'd be like some guy. Uh, was speaking somewhere and he had a link to, to the Amazon page. So there's like no, I mean, for books, there doesn't seem to be any competition at all 
Yeah, yeah. L- let me let me take uh, take you inside of a little bit about what happens um, with this stuff. And and uh, you know, it's funny because because uh, Brad and I were working on this module on Friday, and I woke up Saturday morning, and I, I actually called Mike Swanson, and I said, Mike, you know, Mike Mike and I had worked together on strategic stock trading to have him put it together and to have him launch it to a list that he built with uh, with both paid traffic and with free traffic from the real Google search engine. And so that was how he got the, the start of that. That's how he got that launch. And we talked about how um, how it would be just so easy for him to take that and really put things on steroids. And let me show you uh, what Mike sent me. He sent me the Open Site Explorer results. And Jimmy, can you take people inside of this? This is really exciting. Show us what's, what's going on with this. I, I wanna help folks understand what an incredibly exciting opportunity this is. So I'm opening up Open Site Explorer right here. And what we're looking at, let me just try to try to zoom in here a little bit so we can really see. So this is Mike's this is Mike's product page for strategic stock trading. And we can see that it has a domain authority of 99 out of 100, a page authority of 53 out of 100. But these are the links coming into his site. And he's got one page, it's a domain authority 99, that's got a page authority of 76. This is an inbound link to his website. He's got another one that's a 99 with a 67 page authority coming into his site. Another one that's 99 with a 62. Jimmy, what does this mean? You know, uh, take this from Greek to English for us. Okay, so basically what's happening is you're gonna get related uh, books or other bestsellers that are gonna be linking into your page. So typically when you're looking at an Amazon page, it's like, you know, at the bottom they also have, well, other people also bought blah, blah, blah. And typically what you got going on is you're going to have a lot of these relevant other pages linking back to it uh, individually. So it also presents an opportunity to also manipulate those other pages or the links that are coming to you. You can also boost those up to actually push yours up. So, so these are all Google as well. These are all inbound links to Mike's site. Is that correct? Yeah. The Amazon page, you mean? Yeah, yeah. Correct. Yeah. So, so, so if we go to simple stock trading formulas, for example, then there's a very yeah, good that's chance. That's my competition. Here. Right. They're your competition, mm-hmm. but they're actually helping you because they're also probably linking back to you. This it's all the one. Here it's are. right here. here Here's right. the link. So the funny thing is, this is a situation where your, you know, quote unquote, top competitor is actually giving you a major potential advantage if you're inside of OMG and you know how to take advantage of this. This is the elephant in the room. Again, people are not doing this. This is so easy to do. There's so much money on the table with this, and yet almost nobody is doing this. Jimmy, tell us more. <laughs> well, it's kind of interesting. This all goes back into also kind of how we, uh, you know, for those that are in Project X, how we manipulate taking over category pages. Um, when So domain authority dictates your rankings. So what happens when it's coming from the same site where domain authority is the same? You know, in the case with Amazon, all those pages domain authority are the same. So what it defaults to is page authority at that time when it comes to that. And so... Basically, it can, whoever has the strongest page authority once domain authority is in play is the one that's going to win. So basically what you're saying is there's going to be one site, sort of like Highlander, right? There's going to be one site that's going to rank. Um, so, for example, if we, if we go back to Google, and I really hope this is starting to get people's juices flowing. And it's absolutely okay if you're a little bit um, confused right now because it's that tiny bit of confusion that you're feeling right now that's locking out your competitors. That's that where your competitors are sitting right now and they're on the outside of the gate, the gates are locked and they're never coming in. And this is something that you can take advantage of because we're shining a light on it right now between me, Jimmy, Mike, and Brad Mabry. So right now, Jimmy, this guy is probably the guy who has the, 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 the edge on things. This, this book right here, Amazon Simple Stock Trading Formulas, right now this is the guy who has slightly more page authority than any other Amazon pages, probably. That's correct. And it might even be the uh, click on that and see if it's the individual book or if it's a category page. So it is a book. So what it comes down to is page authority at that point. So 
when you're looking at some of these, uh, you know, this is with any search. This this bleeds into your uh, local uh, seven pack as well as your, you know, or your Google Places, whatever you want to call it. This also goes into organic. Your, your like, domain like, authority for, dictates for example, your rankings. This is how our Facebook page is number one or number two. This is how our Weebly page is number three. This is how our Yelp page is number five. This is how our YouTube video is number six. Th this is the same technique that we're using to dominate with natural SEO is the same technique that you can use to go absolutely crazy on Amazon. Yeah, and and the thing is, when you understand that, you got to th uh, another thing you can think of is like, you know, if you're considering uh, page authority, what even if when you create a new page on a site and it comes out with a one, so anytime you create a new blog post or a new page on a site, it's one over whatever that site's domain authority is, right? So you got to consider is page authority the same coming from a domain authority of let's say 99, which I believe is what Amazon is. Mm -hmm. or versus like 45. You know, it takes a far less amount of links to actually manipulate that page authority on the 99 versus the 45. All right, great. Um, and I, I, I want to show, I, I want to show folks uh, something that, that Mike sent me this morning, something that Mike Swanson sent me this morning. Um, so this is, this is a link that he gave me. I'm going to pull this up. This is a little kind of a goofball site called Yesiv.com, and I, I don't even know what this is. But anyways, I'm going to type in stock trading here. I'm going to give you uh, kind of a visual representation of what's going on. So I don't know how well you guys can see this, but what this is, Mike, is a visual representation of like what's linking to what on Amazon. Is that right? Yeah, well, what, what, what's really... Uh... Okay, these are the books. These are the books linking to each other. Okay, right. And what you'll notice to see that you see one floating around with five books linking to it, and you see my book in the middle. Well, being in the middle uh, of this is a pretty big deal. That's why my book is is second, right, on the Amazon search results because so, one of the because so many other books are linking to it, uh, and, and they're linking to it because people bought them. The people. My book has sold so much over the past couple of years that uh, when people buy my book and they buy another one, they link the two together, right? And so uh, that's why mine is showing up in their search. Because list. with so, your book, we're, we're going to go after t truly big, like truly big stuff with this book. We're going to go after you ranking number one with your Amazon page on the real Google search engines. Oh, it'd be incredible. I mean, it just, <laughs> it, it, I, can see it's easy, I can see how easy it's going to be to do it. Uh, but but this gives you a good representation though of any you know if you if you're interested in books you know you could type in a topic and this will show you what are the best sellers on that topic you know on Amazon which books are selling what you know and so forth and, uh, and, and it, now it's just so everybody knows just so everybody knows you don't even need this to rank number one on Google we're just showing no, you no no we're just showing you the awesome power because the crazy thing is so much money is being left on the table if you go and you try to do Amazon and you don't have this Google stuff, right? Like there's a reason why airplanes can't get into outer space because they don't have, you know, like, so when it comes to, if I type in space shuttle, right? Then how does a space shuttle get into outer space? Well, they have these massive, <laughs> right? This massive <laughs> rocket ship below. Jimmy, this is what Google is doing for your Amazon page. I'll give you one tip too. That Absolutely. One little, here's how you can have an, anyone using, selling a product on Google can have an advantage. The title, you see the title of my book in bold, Strategic Stock Trading. Uh, but the subtitle, okay, here's a guy, the subtitle, you see this guy's book, Simple Stock Trading Formulas, and he says, How to Make Money Trading Stocks, okay? If you, when you look at mine, uh, the subtitle is essentially uh, a, a lot of keywords. Okay, it's it's <laughs> fast personal finance. It's just a bunch of those are all keywords. This, this so, is this is Greg Morrison style keyword stuffing. Yeah, yeah. You, I've stuffed my you know I've, I've I've got a book of a title stuffed with keywords, and here's the advantage: is I can do that because I'm self-published. 
but publishing companies will never do anything like that, right? And and and, and I mean, it's the same for any product, you know. And and, and Brad, stuff it. <laughs> and Brad, go ahead. I was going to say, and, and Brad Mabry is going to show you the same thing. So this this oh, works. Okay. So, so so this works. This doesn't just work for books. And I'm going to take you inside of how how to make money with this. The first thing I want to impress upon you is how a how incredibly easy it is to get started with this. B how cheap it is to rank something on Amazon but see how you're not losing any future power. You're not, it's not like this is only going to work for small keywords. This is the kind of thing that can work for the biggest keywords in the entire world. The most lucrative keywords, the most competitive markets where you're beating down and humiliating the big boys. And just, if that sounds fun to you, if beating down and humiliating the big boys uh, sounds like something that's really, really fun, then type in the number one. Just give me the number one if just absolutely humiliating the big boys sounds like a good time to you. Okay, great. And yeah, that's, actually, that's actually why I got into it, Mike, because uh, um, I got busted with Penguin 2.1 because my site couldn't handle some of the links I was sending to it. So I decided to switch to Amazon and just you know outrank the, the big guys that showed up overnight. This was after, uh, this was after OMG Live Nashville. Correct. Yeah, that's when I, I actually started it. It happened right before Nashville. I was like, well, Jimmy's going to be talking a lot about domain authority. So I waited till that event and then just kicked it in a high gear. So yeah. uh, that's what I did. Yeah, this is, th th this is going to be really exciting for people. So Brad, what you were able to do was take a brand new Amazon listing uh, mm -hmm. that took you not very long to put up. We're not going to explain how you did it on this event today. We're going to show you inside of Brad's module, which will be inside of Project X starting in the next few days. But long story short, it took you, uh, let's say, less than $20 altogether to make an Amazon page that's made you $500 per week, day in, day out. Mm -hmm. Easily, yeah. Less than $20. Mm -hmm. Okay. A lot less. So, <laughs> uh, so right now, if, if, if this idea, if, if this idea, if because I'm not going to move on to how to make money with this stuff until you are thoroughly impressed and thoroughly inspired by what's going on. So what I want to do is I want to go over to Facebook. And I want to go over to the, uh, the, the big thread that's about this event on the OMG team uh, Facebook group. Uh, it's probably uh, pretty well buried by now because uh, it was uh, only a few minutes before this event. Oops, there's Janet, Andrew, Jimmy. So th this is the thread. Please type in City on a Hill if you're already just thoroughly impressed and fired up and you want to know, you're thoroughly impressed, you're thoroughly fired up, you, you feel like you at least to a decent degree understand that you will be able to rank on Google with Amazon pages. You will be able to do it. <laughs> okay. Definitely. Definitely will add you. Flavia, Rob, that's, uh, that's Rob. Rob's, uh, Rob's secret name there. I will go and add Rob real, real quick here. There we go. You have been added. Uh, so let, let's see, and, and, and if not, you know, let me know in the question box in the GoToWebinar if, if you like, feel like you don't quite yet get um, you know, what's going on with this, you know, if, it's, if it's a little confusing. Oh my goodness, look at this. That's kind of funny to see that like, pop up. You actually got a Shazam from, from Jim. Oh my, my gosh, this is fun. <clears throat> all right, all right, let me check the, uh, let me check the, quick, the, the, the question box inside of Go to meeting and see if we're getting some confusion. If you're having some confusion, okay. So Jimmy, the long story short, what we can do is we can send just a few links to an Amazon page, a very few links to an Amazon page, and it can rank for nearly anything. Uh, yes, to an extent. There's there's uh, two catches to that. Okay. Uh, that I've found with uh, very competitive terms. So, I don't know how far you want me to go into it. Yeah, go, go into it. Tear it okay. Down. So, basically the way you're, so on really competitive stuff, sometimes uh, Google's hanging on to the category page, right? Um, this is the same thing with uh, directory listings. They don't actually do siloing. So, basically the siloing is categorizing your pages to a parent-child relationship. So, that means that there's no hierarchy for where that juice flows. 
or a default, hey, this is stronger than this page, so rank this one instead. So what that means is all you're dealing with is stealing uh, page authority within the same domain. So when that happens, um, sometimes the really competitive stuff, you have to actually make it up in the Amazon listings to get onto the uh, category page to be able to take over the rankings for that specific, you know, the category page that Amazon is actually indexing. So that that's one thing you have to pay attention to. The second one is Hummingbird does apply to high domain authority sites. So you have to be careful with how much you keyword stuff those titles and be aware that uh, Amazon does do dynamic URLs with that when you're sending links if you end up changing that title that's on the Amazon page. So let me ask you this, Jimmy. Mike Swanson comes to you with a brand new website and says, I want to rank number one in the real Google search engines for stock trading. How much is it going to cost me? How much time is it going to take? It's not going to take long at all. It'd no, no. Be if Wait, wait, let me clarify. He's coming with a brand new website website that he just registered on GoDaddy.com, a brand new website. This has nothing to do with Amazon. I'm trying to create a contrast here, okay? So scenario okay. one, Mike Swanson registers a brand new website, you know, uh, stocktradingideas.com or .net or .org or whatever, okay? Um, he registers that and he, and he calls you up and says, Jimmy, uh, I want to know, I, I want you to rank this number one in the real Google search engines for stock trading. How much time is it going to take? How much money is it going to take? It'll probably take very long. I mean, the first thing I look at is the DA of the sites that are on that first page. If you're looking at, and I don't know if you could go back and check that on this, uh, you know, if you, can you go to, do you have that toolbar on where you can check? I, uh, unfortunately, I don't have the Moz toolbar. Um, do, do, do any of you guys have it? Can anybody tell me what, what, it, what it looks like there? I just don't I'll, have muscle bar installed I can, here. I'll pull it up real quick. Let's see what we're looking at here. I'd rather not switch screens because I, I, I don't want to. Uh, it, it's so I can create an HD recording. People really like to get HD recordings with this. But we've got yeah, E-Trade so, here. So what's E-Trade? Yeah, so so your first one is a 70. Uh, number one is ranked as 77. Your second one is an 87. Um. So basically, you're talking about trying to get a domain authority of, you know, close to 80. <laughs> with a brand <laughs> new website. To, with so, a brand new website to be able to rank in that top five. And so, so how much would that typically cost and how long would that typically take? Just a um, limited checkbook. Oh, man. It, it, depends on, it depends on how much content they want to produce and how many links they want to build. But that can take probably a good year to build it up to that amount. If you're doing white hat techniques, okay. So we're talking um, one year and what, like a thousand dollars? Way more than that. I mean, that would be pretty expensive. Like a thousand two hundred dollars? Well, you're, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm. You're probably talking like forty thousand dollars to build up a DA white hat with, you know, the content you need and the amount of links that you need. Uh, okay. That'd be bare cost. Okay, so 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 forty thousand dollars and one year. Now, when, when Mike Swanson told you he wanted to take this page and make it number one, now, now what are you thinking? Now I'm thinking like uh, two, maybe three weeks. And because Am your Amazon page, so for one, he's already listed on the category page uh, for that keyword. So he's already got all the juice that comes from the category page that uh, – you know, Google hangs on to and you do the search for that. So now it's just a matter of boosting the PA. So out of all the URLs that are on that uh, Amazon category page, his is the strongest. And that's why you can just go in there and just take that listing. And of course, a 99 domain authority can trump a 80, no problem. Okay, so, so do, do you think like maybe, like you were saying that that would take about 11 months and about $37,000? <laughs> no, that's talking like, you know, <laughs> two weeks and sometimes you can get away with doing fiber gigs if you want to. Okay, so uh, so so maybe $32,000? Uh, maybe like five. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I'll tell you what I've done is I've – do I'm, I'm just experimenting, right? And I've found – uh, I've got a couple of things I want to rank that are similar to that. And I'm, I just bought a bunch of Fiverr gigs just to see what's going to happen. 
Um, now, can I get some like more? <laughs> I'll just see what you know, if that don't work. And I'm shooting PBN links to, to that to that page too. So so can, to that one specifically. So I don't so, want... so if you if you have an all new sense of what we're talking about here, please go to the OMG thread and type in "City on a Hill." Because I just want to see. I just want to see how you feel about this. You know, because because here's the thing: is we really want to bring you the cutting edge, the bleeding edge, the absolute amazing stuff. And remember. When you join Project X, we didn't say one thing about this. This is all new for you. And why do we do this? Okay. Why do we do this? Number one, we do this because of the success of Brad Mabry, of Jimmy Kelly, of Mike Swanson, of Dave Keyes, of so many OMGers. Uh, today I just heard that, that Janet Bruno got her first client. Okay. There's so much success, cotton. From, uh, from so many different people, Jason Boyd, Mike Hayden, uh, Brian Magnossi, uh, uh, Donna Nichols. I'm hearing so many earnings reports from so many OMGers. That gets me fired up, okay? It makes me want to do more. Also, look at the energy inside of OMG. Why do we do these bonuses? The energy and the earnings reports. It's just wonderful energy, the wonderful earnings reports. This really gets us fired up. It makes us want to do more. Was OMG already the best thing out there? Yeah, by far. We're already 50 to 100 times better or 200 times better than you know the, the next program that's out there. But uh, why do we do this? We do this because of our wonderful City on a Hill community and it really makes us want to do more. Now, we've given you a beginning insight. Yes, you're going to have a whole module that is going to explain to you how to actually do the SEO of this. Okay. And doing the SEO, Jimmy, on a scale of one to 10, hard, easy, uh, you know, 10 is hard. One is like, you know, falling off a log. What is the SEO of this on hardness, easiness? Zero. <laughs> like okay. literally anyone with an internet connection can take <laughs> their search. Literally, I mean, you can take a product, put it up, and make literally, like in my friend's case, um, you could do the search. Um, on in, on his case, I did it as a wedding gift to him. Um, he didn't pay anything for it, and it wasn't actually his Amazon specific listing page. If you do uh, one direction cardboard cutouts, um, he's not number one now. He dropped down to number two, but that's now, what happens now, when. Now, uh, Jimmy, is it actually true that you and Bat Bad Mabry were founding members of One Direction? Uh, no. <laughs> I got a haircut. And they Although I, hair they, I would like to think that I'm as good as I'm as good looking as. <laughs> okay. Now, Br now so, Brad, but, but Brad, but you were a, a founding member. Is that true? Yeah. Then uh, I had to get a haircut and get a real job. So, uh, <laughs> okay. One Direction, yeah, just just for people who don't know, is a boy band. So, and they're a very, very popular boy band. This, this is the listing right here, this Amazon one? <laughs> so, uh, no, if you go, I, this is the crazy thing. I actually ranked his, his website is right there. It's 1D Cardboard Cutouts. Are you kidding me? No. And this is his website? This, yeah, and this you, is the website. Are you really going to teach this at OMG Live Nashville? Well, sure. I mean, anyone that wants to learn it can, is welcome to come. Oh, that's weird. I don't, I don't think anybody would want to know about that. All right. So yeah, let, 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 let's just say, focus. by the way, th this whole Amazon Google module is already going to be inside of Project X. You don't even have to go to OMG Live Nashville. I know that it, nobody really wants to go to OMG Live Nashville anyways. We, we probably won't even have it. Don't worry about it, guys. Um, so anyways, uh, so, 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 so this is the site. So, so, so this site is number one. This is crazy. Yeah, and so this is this is his money site. This isn't even, but this is kind of stuff you can do when you're trying to rank for low competition keywords. You can still go in and you can do this for uh, your money sites. When you start looking at like stock trading, where you're dealing with these major authority sites, it's better to just go for the throat and use a, a high domain authority site right off the bat. But in this case, because it's a um, you know, this is like a seasonal item that people get, you know, they give them for birthdays or parties or in his case, it was Christmas. Um, you know, he kept calling me over and over again. Uh, I just kept kind of ignoring him at, at the time because it wasn't a paying client, you know. Um, so, so he called and he just said, hey, man, I just want to thank you. I was like, oh, how come? He's like, well, I made $100,000 during December 
on my cardboard cutouts uh, domain. Now and it I, was just a huge uh, seasonal item for him that, that happened to be his, his uh, Amazon product. Now, now, I said that this event was going to be a barn burner. I, I really need to apologize to everybody. I know, I know, much, much lamer and weaker than expected. I'm sorry. I just found these three guys walking around the street, and they're walking around. They're like, hey, I got this thing, Amazon. And I was like, all right. I mean, I guess I can let you guys talk about it. I mean, everyone's <laughs> talking about Amazon out there. I know, I know. You probably want to leave this webinar right now and go over and watch some amazing webinar on amazing Amazon techniques. I know this is lame. I'm sorry, guys. It's just, I just, I didn't know what to do with myself. I was just wandering around the mall today. These three guys came up to me. Brad gave me this, this sob story about how he used to be in one direction and, yep, you know, right. now he has no direction. And it's just the, the whole thing was just a total mess. So, Totally. <laughs> Daryl says, Mike, are you drunk? <laughs> okay. Um, let's get into profit models here. And by the way, what have you seen here? You've seen not one, but two hundred thousand dollar Amazon plus Google case studies right in front of you. Real earnings reports. Okay. These are profit driven, real world earnings reports. Uh, you've got to meet Brad here and Brad, I, I got to tell you, I, I'm hearing this. Look, what people are telling me, when I go on an amazing webinar to learn about amazing Amazon techniques is that what I need to do is I, I need to go and, and spend a lot of money in China. But now I'm nervous about it because Jimmy, uh, you know, somebody he was consulting for spent $40,000. And uh, now how much have they recouped out of that, J Jimmy? <laughs> They've sold zero out of all those that they bought. That's it, still sitting in a warehouse. So they're actually paying. One of them. So they're actually paying. To, it's actually not just not only not making the money, but just accruing expenses all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Well, that sounds really good. How many people would like to go out and spend uh, hundreds of thousands or tens of thousands of dollars on a complete crapshoot with no idea of whether it's going to work or not, and count on your mom writing your review in order to hopefully just uh, <laughs> Scott Shap is in. <laughs> No, nobody wants to do it. You know, and I hear these pipe dream things all the time. Oh, you know, you just go, you just get a product, blah, blah, blah. Uh, okay. But isn't there a way to do it without a product? Now, Brad, um, you have, you've been rolling it up in e-commerce. Um, mm -hmm. uh, th this most recent site that we talked about, uh, $500 a week that you've been making on this Amazon listing. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, how much did that product uh, cost for you to make? Uh, zero. Okay, so but but I mean the product cost. How much when you when you went to China and you went and you talked to all the Chinese people to have it made? How much did that cost? Well, uh, Rosetta Stone cost quite a bit. <laughs> but after okay, that, it wasn't too bad. So, okay, it wasn't too bad. The, yeah, the, no. the, now what, now how were you able to sell something that cost zero? Um, well, basically, I just uh, placed an order. When uh, I received the order and the money and uh, send it over, they send me the tracking number. I plug it into Amazon and the uh, process is complete. Now, that sounds su uh, suspiciously like affiliate annihilation. Mm -hmm. So what you're saying is you can actually do this with affiliate offers? Uh, no, with uh, real world uh, products. So, so w w basically what you did is you found somebody else who had a product you can do this yep. with drop shippers. You can do this with somebody in your local area that has a product and you can sell their product. Mm -hmm. All right, great. So one technique that's zero cost is affiliate slash drop shipping. And inside of your module, we're going to show people how to do that. Yep. Yeah. I, that uh, I have a few different methods for finding people. And uh, that's actually the most important part to me is finding good drop shippers. So, so that's, that's like yeah. the concrete base there. Now, does, does anybody, but by the way, if, if anybody's wondering why I'm being a little bit ornery about the amazing people, nobody goes out and says that they're better than us and gets away with that. Just saying. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> okay. Um, so, uh, and by the way, just saying that you're the best in the world says that you're better than us, and we all know that's not true. Um, okay. So now, um, so, so the, the, the upside of this is it's zero cost, and that's exciting. All right. Now, there's other ways of making money with this. So there's affiliate and drop shipping. Number two is you can do, Jimmy, is there uh, any money in consulting for this? Jimmy! 
You lost Jimmy. Yeah, absolutely. Sorry about that. I keep muting it because that uh, construction work across the street. Um, but yeah, I mean, absolutely. I mean, you can make tons of money just consulting doing this method. I mean, that company that I took, they were on average, their products uh, just in Amazon were bringing in about 4,000 a month. Within a three-week time frame, we brought them from 4,000 up to 20,000 a month. And they're willing and to pay they, you for that? Uh, yeah. Weird. <laughs> ROI. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so consulting. So basically, this is yet another day job killer. Great. Three. Uh, you can also sell. Now, uh, again, this is a, a, that's zero cost up front. All right. Uh, number three, you can sell an information product. Uh, Mike. Yeah. Is it possible to sell something that costs you zero to produce and actually make money on it on Amazon? Yeah, that book is essentially a sales page telling people to go to my website. So, <laughs> well, now wait a second. What 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 are you talking about now? This is crazy craziness here. Take take so, us inside yeah. the strategy. Yeah, so I mean, it's a hundred pages, but you know, I wrote it in a month, and uh, you know that that that, I, I, that makes it sound like I did more work than I did actually. <laughs> but uh, it didn't take me long to write it, and uh, it's essentially just a sales pitch telling people to to go to my blog and follow me and stuff, you know. So, um, and uh, once the book's there, I caught you know Amazon prints physical copies and ships them, so I don't have like an inventory or something. It doesn't cost me anything, and then you can also do eBooks, which I got an eBook version too, uh, five ninety nine. Uh, you see, right, that's what you're looking at now. You know, they cost nothing. You just upload the file, and you make seventy percent of it. So I'm I'm generating powerful buying leads and making a profit at the same time. Uh, I'm selling. <laughs> uh, I'm paying my mortgage selling these books. I'll put you that way. Paying the mortgage, and and the thing, the yeah, crazy thing is, sold, yeah, the, yeah well, the, at, at the current sales. And, and and the thing is, every one of those sales can actually turn into uh, basically a thousand dollars per year. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, I do email, you know, generate my, my, what drives my business is generating opt-ins to an email list, but I got to, I mean, the, the people that come from this book as leads have got to be 10 times, if not maybe even 100 times more valuable individually. So, so, so instead of paying for leads, you're getting paid to get leads, and those leads are far more lucrative. Oh, for sure. I mean, you know, who do you take more serious? Who who does anyone take more seriously? Someone that you just land on a squeeze page, or someone who's bought who who you read their book after reading two hundred fifty customer reviews saying it's good. You know, <laughs> you know, I, I just had this feeling. I you know, guys, I, I know I'm doing this webinar right now, but I just feel like I should just go and watch another webinar. Because I just, I don't feel like this is that great. I mean, if, if you guys really think this is that great, then just type in the number one if you think that this is really that great. Because if not, I'm just going to go and watch some amazing webinar on Amazon. Because I just think, I don't know. There's no money in this Google, Amazon plus Google thing. <sighs> guys. Well, the idea, I don't understand. <laughs> the idea of building up inventories is. Maybe I'll, if you smoke crack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the idea of building up an inventory and then selling stuff to me is, is crazy. You know, yeah. I, I, not in this day and age. I mean, it's it's insane. insane. Who wants to do that? <laughs> Jimmy. Here, here you go, Mike. This is the link. I don't know if you can see it in the chat. Uh -huh. That's what I use for most low competitive Amazon pages that get you rankings. Right there. You get to show that to the group. Help some of these people out if they get into some low competitive stuff. Boom. Oh, okay. <laughs> Mike Swanson and Brad Mabry are taking notes. No, I'm writing it down. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do 25. <laughs> I'll do a screen capture. That's what I'll do. <laughs> five, five bucks and you increase your ROI by like thousands. <laughs> well, here's and, well, you know, I, the I other thing it. that's cool is about the books. The, the thing that's cool about the books is how many people here know, like, about are you an expert in something? Do you have an interest in something? Well, you know, and, and I'm really glad you brought that up, Jimmy. Th this is something I want to bring home to people. Brad, yes, sir. where are you making your money? 
what, what niche? Uh, automotive. That's where I, I try and get out of it, and then it sucks me back in. You know, yeah. not because it's not lucrative, just to expand. But you know, I just uh, for one of my current uh, suppliers, I just uh, sent him a thumb drive so he could load it with uh, pictures of all their higher margin products. I said, load it up, send it to me. I'm gonna just list the crap out of it on Amazon. So it's all automotive. That's the industry I've been in for ten plus years. So, so now, why automotive for you though? I mean, why not Barbie dolls? Well, I got a job in the automotive industry, so I kind of learned it that way. Did uh, kind of uh, went to all the shows. Uh, SEMA is a big one out in Vegas every year. I've been to that a bunch of times, and uh, just kind of go with what you know. So that's what I knew. So, so, you, so, so you're passionate about this, Mike? Mike, Mike Swanson, why stock yeah. trading? I don't get it. Like, you know, why not Barbie dolls? <laughs> well, to to two reasons. I am, you know, that's. I, I am the customer, you know. I do that. I do it myself. I invest myself, and you know, it, it also it's a it's one of the most lucrative niches on the internet. You know, if you want to be selling people advice or, or anything of that sort. Okay. So, but I am the customer too. So so, I mean, so let, let let me tell you something really special. Um, this is a real real key to both affiliate marketing and day job killer. I really want to drive this home. The real power when it comes to money getting comes from this is this is a David Mills law of implication lesson. Mike, you don't like that law of implication stuff, right? Oh, it's awesome. <laughs> uh, you, no, you, you, you just watch the you just watch the summary series, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well that <laughs> I, it's my brain about exploded. Not 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 from that, but well yeah, from all kinds of stuff. But this concept that we this Amazon concept we were talking about the other day, then I watched that. I mean there's so many potential things someone can do with this information uh, here. It, it's just, it's really mind blowing. Uh, I mean, one thing someone could, not that I want to do this, but I had, you know, here's an idea, you know, it popped in my head. You could start a publishing company like this. Yeah. You know, you could pay people to write eBooks, stick them on here. And, and, and you don't even have to produce eBooks. They can, just could, be, they can just be Kindle books. Yeah. Yeah. You could just make Kindle books. I mean, people used to sell eBooks on ClickBank, you know, 10 years ago for 30 bucks a pop. Well, you could do, you know, one on gardening, one on farming, or, you know, you could take some niche or whatever and write a hundred, have people write the books for you and put them on here and they're all going to be ranking, cross-linking to each other. You could do something like that. You know? Yeah, absolutely. Or you could help other, or you could contact an author who's already got an ebook on there that you've read or liked and tell them, hey, I can help you get more sales and rank just, uh, you know, give me some money or yeah. Put, let me put a link at the end of your book saying what I how you, how I did this, you know, or something. And, Absolutely. And so, so, so what's going what's going on with this here is specified information, and I want everybody to know about this. This is a really really big key to money getting. What do I mean by specified information? Now, uh, this is a law of implication lesson. This is from David Mills, and he wanted you to have this information in conjunction with this webinar today. It's very important. Now, here's. Here's what I want you to know is, it's there for the taking. Okay, there is so much opportunity. What did Greg do with KLKS.com? He just took something as simple as e-cigarettes that people just don't know about, and he and Martin just experimented with those e-cigarettes, and they gained specified information about those e-cigarettes. They shared them, and what do you get? Blammo, $1,000 per day in profit. Brad Mabry has specified information or tracked down specified information about cars. What's the result? Success. Mike Swanson, specified information about stock trading, takes it to the internet. What's the result? Success. Again and again, market after market, niche after niche. And by the way, what's the biggest opportunity for specified information is SEO, okay? You have specified information about SEO, you take that and combine it with specified information about anything else, you know, whether it's uh, e-cigarettes or whether it's uh, you know, relationship advice or cars or iPhones and iPhone equipment and iPhone doodads, whatever it is, you go in, you do a little bit of digging, a little bit of research. This is where you apply a little bit of creativity and you get a lot of reward. Remember, we're always showing you the shortcut. Okay, now listen, I see people all the time trying to go into affiliate marketing and not getting the specified information. 
why did I just do a webinar like that ended kind of a, a training webinar that I did just exclusively for launch jackers? Okay, so there's this launch that's coming up, and I interviewed the, you know the two gurus behind the launch mm. and got details behind that launch. Why am I doing that, recording that, and supplying that for you inside of your launch jacking area? Why am I doing that for you? Why is that valuable to you? Does anybody know why? Can I get any any guesses? Bueller, Bueller, we got 227 people on. Not one person can tell me. Somebody said embroidery. <laughs> Bob, Bob Lumley said, okay, great. Because I want you to have specified information. Exactly. I want you to have specified information. So when we have specified information, we have a massive advantage. Okay, massive. All right. So that's the thing is when we combine specified information with SEO, especially I'm so excited about this Amazon plus Google. I hope you guys realize what an exciting model this is and how this is going to make a huge difference to OMGers bottom lines. And you know what? There's a fourth thing that you can do. Okay. And again, with the information product ebook, okay, this can be zero cost. All right. And finally, you can make or manufacture your own product. Now I will tell you this before you do step four. Okay do one of the, these top three steps, okay? Unless you have just massive, massive success already, uh, you really know what you're doing. You know, obviously if you have klks.com and you wanna go and start selling e-cigarettes of your own, that makes sense, because you've already gotten your feet wet. Mike, I was gonna say, like, you could literally go out, hire a ghostwriting service to go make a book, even if you're not an expert on the topic, go put it up on Amazon, go rank it in Google. Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. There's absolutely no question. Absolutely no question that you can do that. Um, so uh, what I provided you with is not one, not two, not three, but four models for having success with Amazon plus Google. And over the next weeks and months, we are going to expose you to earnings reports in each of these areas. Now we are one hour into this event have I provided, I sent you three emails coming into this event. Do you get why I was so excited about this event? You know, number one, if yes, you know, number two, if no, I'm going to try to reach into the audience and just grab some audience feedback here. I'm going to scroll down, scroll down. I want to grab somebody who I know probably has a microphone. Let's see, we've oh, we got Dave Keys. I haven't talked to Dave Keys in a while. Who, did you say you want to grab somebody, Jimmy? Grab Michael P. Michael P. <laughs> All right, Michael P. Yeah. Get Dave in a second. Right. He's Michael P. Oh, that's Mike Pierce. That's no fair. <laughs> or Mike Hayden. Oh, grab. Well, I'll oh. tell you something kind of that's got my head spinning too. Is okay. You, we can apply this concept to Amazon, right? Well, what if I've got a let's say my website or a PBN for that matter? Say I got a PBN and it's got a link from the Huffington Post coming to it from with and the Huffington Post is the domain authority in ninety nine. Well, what if I boost that page? You know, wouldn't that boost the PBN? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, yeah, absolutely. I mean, you can literally go out. If, you're, if your search is <laughs> if your search is low competitive enough, you can literally go out and get 10 tweets and send it to that Amazon page, and it will rank. Like, literally, yeah. that's how easy it is. All right, let's find out from – I want to – uh, hit up the peanut gallery here and see who's excited. If you have a microphone and you want to give us your feedback on the first hour of this event before we switch over to talking about Death Star Reloaded, let me know. I'm, I'm going to bring Dave Keys live because I think he oftentimes has a microphone, so let's find out. D Dave Keys, are you there? Dave Keys. Dang. Dave usually has a microphone around. Uh, okay, now you should hear me. Oh, I do hear you. What, yeah, you did microphone. No, now this is unscripted. You didn't know you were coming live. What do you think? Is this a, I think this is awesome, man. I, I'm telling you, I'm grabbing the steps to this. I'm, uh, I'm like, guys, I got to get on here, get a book put out, rank that thing. There is so much possibility here, just in my niche. You know, when you started talking about specific information. Um, and you can you talk I, about the power of specified information, Dave? That's actually the sne secret sneaky reason I brought you on. For folks that don't have context on Dave Keys, Dave joined us beginning of the year. First 30 days, 20 grand a month, boom. 
what's going on? That's right. What's going on is that, you know, my niche is real estate. Um, there are a lot of real estate agents and brokers that are hungry to get on page one of Google. It's a very competitive uh, environment. It's really uh, competitive. There's a lot of big uh, national syndicated websites that dominate the search. So getting on there, you know, for a lot of people just throwing up their hands and giving up. Um, uh, uh, the, you, know, you know, Project X has enabled me to get in there and force my way into uh, those, you know, those uh, value terms in real estate on page one. And this, this, is, this is basically the same thing that you're doing for real estate SEO right now. Yeah, it's it, it's the same thing, only here you've got like... No, you know, no who, you who's, a, who's this guy right here? Oh, I, don't, I have no clue. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so this is something you're already doing. So the, the, same, the same or less work that it would take you to rank your LinkedIn profile could r rank a book. And of course, you're doing this right here with, with, with your uh, YouTube video as well. And then, I am oh, so stoked this? about this because people will go and they'll, they'll, first of all, the idea of having a lead gen source that is making a profit at the same time as building your list, that's just mind boggling. That's amazing. And so I'm totally stoked on this. And you're already getting, like relatively convinced with the value of OMG before this webinar today. Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, OMG and, and uh, Law of Implication. Now, now Dave, and, uh, Dave, did you know that you're one of the reasons why we put this module together? Because you came in so fired up. You got Project X. You got right to work. You, you crushed it. You came out with earnings report after earnings report. And you provide so much positivity. And I, I just want to know, I, this is how me and David Mills and Greg Morrison and Jimmy, and, and this is how our city of uh, on Hill thanks you. Because we really appreciate you coming out. You're sharing wonderful information. <laughs> And, and that really fires us up to do even more for you. And by the way, that's still the same. In fact, that uh, that earnings is still over 20000 Um, You know, I, I was going over our budget with my wife in the car the other day, and we were counting up the, the clients. And I said, okay, this is this much. This one is worth this much. And it was just over twenty. I said, that's not good enough. I got to get more. And so this week I had another two grand. That's awesome. That is awesome yeah. to hear. OMG is a city on a hill. Dave, thank you so much for coming live on, uh, uh, just kind of on the fly here. I really appreciate that. Uh, my pleasure. Let's get, let's get just a little bit more audience feedback here. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see who else we got here. Oh, I, I actually, I wanted to hear from, I mentioned her earlier. Let's see. Um, let, Janet, do you have a, a mic? Because I know Janet got her, um, uh, got her first client just recently, and she's got a big opportunity with that. J Janet, I just unmuted you. Are you there? We'll put you a yes, I am. Can you hear me? I, I, I can hear you. So wh what do you think about all this? Rubbish? Does this, is, is this, what do you think? Janet? Getting a weird echo sound out of Janet. Poor Janet. She's been kidnapped by aliens <laughs> that make weird echoing sounds. Can you hear me now? Can hear you now. What's okay? What what, what is I your thought about this? my mic. <laughs> no problem, no problem. So what, what's um, what's the scoop? Do, do you? Of course, we didn't market this as part of OMG. This is a brand new bonus on Amazon plus Google. And by the way, congratulations! You got your first client. Is that correct? Yes, it is. Thank you. Well, congratulations, you. Yeah. everyone! Please give Janet big congratulations. Uh, she got her first client, and that is already turning into a much bigger opportunity. What what are your thoughts on? combine the power of OMG SEO with the opportunities that you're seeing on Amazon. I, I absolutely love this. In fact, if you've been reading what I've been popping in the chat, I am just going crazy because uh, I think this is a huge value add. I personally sell my own product on Amazon and I, I knew coming into OMG that if I could get SEO mastered, that could help that business channel as well as develop my own totally unique business channel doing SEO. Well, so I love the fact that you're doing this. That's wonderful. Well, I, you know, I, uh, once again, Janet, you're one of the reasons we're doing this. Why? Because I hear from you. I hear earnings report from you. I see your positivity. I see you in the beginners group. I see you in the Facebook group. I see you posting. I love it. And that gets me fired up. That's why we're doing this. Well, thank you. I, I'm, I'm absolutely loving OMG and Project X. That's for sure. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Shannon. 
All right, so basically this is a big flop. And my apologies, egg on my face. This is obviously really, really turned into a gigantic disaster. Um, so I, I will slink off to the corner and I apologize for, for, for bringing such lame stuff. I'm just joking, I know, I know y'all love it. Okay, I want to thank, profusely thank Mike Swanson. I wanna thank Brad Mabry. Is everyone, by the way, who's fired up? Uh, that Brad Mabry is helping us create this extraordinary Amazon uh, plus Google module. Is, uh, because Brad, Brad's an organizer, he can see what you're saying here. So if you wanna thank him, if you wanna bribe him with your positivity and your excitement, now's the time to do it. Brad, can you see your question box? Uh, I'm pulling it up now. Scroll down to the bottom because there's lots of thank yous coming in. Lot, lo yes, lots sir. of positivity Boom. style bribery coming in. That's good. <laughs> Love Could it. be a lot of scrolling. Do you see it? Yes. How does that make you feel? Great. Yeah, I can't wait to get started on it. We kind of we actually already, already did get started. We, we we got started yeah. on. Uh, yeah. Just so everybody knows, Brad was up. Brad was up with me at ten, eleven o'clock at night on his Saturday night, uh, pumping out the uh, yeah. or Friday night, pumping out the first part of this module. Uh, OMG, mm -hmm. Brad, Brad, is it a city on a hill? Of course. Yeah. Yeah. I would uh, rather be no other place, to be honest. So. You sure you don't want to find uh, some amazing webinar to watch? <laughs> well, I almost signed up for that four thousand dollar product, but you know I like wasting money, so I just burn it instead. That's what I do. Okay, well I, I I appreciate that, and and, and I uh, let me ask one final thing: How many people would like to have a specific Project X Amazon focused Facebook group? Give me the number one if you would like to have that. Give me the number one if you'd like to have that. Nobody wants it. Okay. All right. Sorry. I'm sorry. I even brought it up. Gosh. Don't have to be mean about it. <laughs> you guys are so positive. I wish you guys could see what I see. Really am. This has been a wonderful week for me, by the way. I'm just, Vince, what's up, Vince? Tell me if this fires you up, Vince. I just want to know. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, good. Good. Cal says, I am so bad. I know. I am, I am a bit on the sarcastic side, but I only do it because I love you guys. Okay. Um, I am so pleased with this. Mike Swanson, thank you, thank you, thank you for opening this up. People don't do oh, this. Oh, man, it's been fun, i tell you. <laughs> you having a good time? It's, oh, it gets me excited to do, to, uh, to, to, to do more, man. Do, do you guys want to – you know, Mike, you know what would almost be really cool is if you would put together would, – would anybody like to hear from Mike Swanson on how he's getting – I don't know, like if Mike were – Oh, gosh, let me just think of something just kind of off the wall. I'm just going to pick something out of the blue. What if he were to put together a module on how he's getting 100 leads per day? Oh, let's just pick a niche. Oh, let's say gold. Uh, 100 leads per day, people that are interested in buying gold and investing in gold. And he was, were to get 100 leads per day using SEO and pay-per-clicks, and he were to put together a focus module exclusively as a bonus for Project Xers because of your wonderful earnings reports and because of your positivity, would you guys like Mike to put together something like that? Would that be, I mean, I know that's like a little weird, just if I were to bring something up just kind of out of the blue like that. Would you, Mike, look at all this positivity about this. <laughs> it looks like they're going to, I'm going to have to do it. <laughs> now, now, Mike, um, how long would it take you to put together a module like that? Oh, I don't know, probably a week or two. A few, uh, not that long, not that long. Just, not that you long. Know, put to do a couple videos and yeah, put something together. Would you guys be willing? Would, would you guys like to? Oh, wait a second! He already did it. <laughs> oh, that's exactly what Mike Swanson already has done. It makes that's it even exactly <laughs> exactly what Mike Swanson has done is put together an all new module for you that is going inside of Project X where he is going to show you exactly how he is right now today getting 100 leads per day in the gold niche. I'm sorry, we're getting people dropping out of this webinar like flies. They're all running over to amazing webinars. They're just- I think it's down to 10. <laughs> <laughs> I know, OMG sucks. Yeah, no, it's really 100, no, I'm getting 100, 100 lead, over 100 leads a day. I, I can look at it right now someone said how many is it for real they don't believe it's 100 well it is <laughs> yeah 
Yeah. Let's say like people should understand like the conversion too between an Amazon page and a regular money site. Well, tell me about that, Jimmy. <laughs> it, like how many people don't trust Amazon when they're buying something on Amazon? Like give me a two if you don't trust Amazon when you're purchasing a product. Like ex absolutely no one. It's a high trusted, high conversion site. You know, I mean, it's, you're going to sell your conversion rate from going to a money site that somebody's not familiar with, with to moving to Amazon. is just, I don't know the exact percentage off the top of my head, but it's huge. Yeah, you're, yeah. you're a trust and authority jacking at the same time, really. I think you know that's one thing you know you mentioned you mentioned in that you know you were bragging about me getting you know these opt-in leads but I, I was just thinking you know about this if I had a choice between having one of my squeeze pages rank on that first page for stock trading or my book I, I think I'd rather have my book rank you know because you're gonna I just think the leads are better or the end results better yeah. Yeah. No, it's, it, it, it's, yeah, absolutely. I mean, like if you're doing a search, yeah. Like when you're doing a search and you go to a page, let's say you just click on a regular money site, you know, you're not familiar with them. You know, you might order it. It might come late. It might not come at all. Um, mm -hmm. You know, Amazon guarantees all that, you know, so, and it's known, it's a known like uh, branding factor that's, that's already in place. So you can yeah. promote your product. Well, and, and Brad, you're pointing this out to me when we were doing our, uh, when we were doing our uh, uh, event. Amazon spent millions of dollars split testing and optimizing and branding and just getting, you know, just, just chewing it up for you. Yeah, you're really piggybacking on that. And uh, if it didn't work, I don't really think uh, it would look like this. If it, if something else worked, that's what it would look like with I wanna, uh, Amazon. Mm -hmm. I want to hear from, uh, I, I want to hear from Jim Utzinger. Jim was uh, somebody who, uh, he's known Jerry, he's uh, been a uh, regular uh, jumper on her on on these money game with Mike webinars. I just want to hear his reaction to this because uh, he's somebody who's uh, I really just incredibly respect uh, when it comes to money game online. He's been around the block. Jim, are you there? Hey, Mike, how you doing? I am. Does this suck? Terribly. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. I I told you I'm walking around the mall. I walk past Spencer's gifts, and Brad Mabry rolls out of there. He's pointing this picture of One Direction. He said he was a founding member of the band. They kicked him out. Now he's got no direction. He's got Jimmy <laughs> Kelly with him. He's got Mike Swanson with him. They're a motley crew, and they're like, "Please let us lit. do this webinar." <laughs> we saw my dropped out and said, "Hey, Mike, how you doing?" <laughs> uh, can, can, uh, I, I'm just curious. You, you have such a great way of contextualizing things for for people who might be beginners who might not know their way around the block, might not realize the value of the situation. Um, th this bonus that we're bringing out on Amazon. What are your thoughts on it? Amazon plus well, it's, it's, it's very timely because everybody's now talking about Amazon and <clears throat> Amazon's come a long way since when they first started uh, selling Pez dispensers back. And I remember the old articles when, when Amazon first came out, everybody was asking, who's this Amazon? And I said, watch out. And everybody says, well, they're going to go down the hill. I said, no, watch out because they're going to probably take over the retail market. And now Amazon is like Kleenex is to tissues. Everybody's going to go there and look for it. So what's happened is between physical products and digital products, they now are going to command a huge marketplace across the board. So you just build with their credibility and trust. Now, what I like about it is in the Kindle book area, like uh, uh, Mike was talking, the lead generation, if you look at a lot of the successful Kindle book people, what they do is at the first start of the Kindle book, they put a little link into a website for an audio free download so when you go into the look inside sections on the Amazon listing, you're going to actually see that your URL is out there and you can still get people signed up for your free audio even though they don't buy the book. Then you keep coming back and you build the trust back into the books. Then you can do multiple books within a category. You build the categories so you can do all of your backlinking to an individual uh, product page or an individual category page to build the, the authority. And I think what Jimmy said was very, very important. When, when everything is on the level playing field, that the domain authority is at 99, what is the page authority and the success in writing correct SEO designed uh, title and subheadlines? Because there's only four things you can control on Amazon. It's the book cover, it's the headline, the subheadline, the price, and the description. And if you do those correctly, 
and you do your research into Amazon, I mean, it's a it's a great way to build a product. Say, for example, you got a a major high end product that's tough to sell. Say it's like a supplement or a thousand dollar e course or whatever. The the ebooks are so easy to create within Microsoft Word, convert it into a Mobi file, upload that with all your information and set the stuff. I mean, it's, it's easy. We've been able to do uh, books and make changes like uh, book changes can be done graphically uh, within a couple of days. You can redo the text. Amazon is great to work with within their publishing environment. So you really got a, a bear by the tail here and I'm looking forward to see what uh, Brad's material is because it is so timely, particularly now if you get everything under your belt going into the summertime and especially in the high volume online business areas in the fall and in the Christmas season that everybody can take full advantage of. You. So now, the digital market is the best, the physical is second, and then everything else is the sky's the limit. You know, Jim, you're at OMG Live Nashville, so you got to see Jimmy uh, you know, uh, starting to bring uh, you know, this Amazon stuff out there. And then you see, right. you know, Brad, who, who joined you at OMG Live. And of course, Mike Swanson was there as well. Uh, what's it like for you to see this city on hill just come to life? Oh, it's been spectacular to see everybody really kind of come to the forefront. And I don't think anybody realizes how powerful this is going to be. You look at this another 12 months down the road, and you build the, the structure between the team that we have right now, particularly uh, with what you have here and adding in Network Empire people. I mean, the tools that they've got, sure, you add a little bit of money in here, but as, as you don't have to chew the entire elephant at one time. Get good at one or two or three things. The Amazon thing is really simple for people to jump on. Such a great starter thing. And you, it's you, Jim, Jim, you have a lot of expertise in the, uh, in the realm of e-commerce. And you know, listen, why am I talking about uh, you know, why am I going on and on about specified information? I'll tell you why. And you, tell me if you think this is true because it's an unfair advantage. Exactly. And what it also does is it teaches you the funnel process. Once you get traffic and you have a, uh, whether it's a, your own page or old process or whatever, if you understand the funnel process and what people go through, I mean, you got half of the, <laughs> the equation. You get the traffic. The other side of the equation, like uh, David Mill says, is once you convert it, what's the sales funnel process in order to get the money? And Amazon assists you. you. It takes you out of the equation for the funnel process, but you start to understand and see how the funnel process is so very important today. M M Mike Swanson, is the funnel process uh, important in this whole strategic stock trading thing? <laughs> that's the whole business it's it's all about the funnel it's all about again you know making getting people into it and then giving them good information and, and, and wanting to get more and then taking some sort of action on it and, and what we're talking about when we say a funnel the, the idea is like an oil funnel where you where it's you know real wide at the top of it but it narrows down and focuses down and that's what Mike's doing for example with this ebook People are making a purchase of an ebook might just be five ninety nine, you know, to, to you know to buy this Kindle ebook, but then that can wind up being a thousand dollars per year for you. Yeah, yeah. Once the people you know upgrade to to my you know high level service, that's and and here's the thing is it's I, I was talking to someone this afternoon that's in the trading market, you know, the trading niche they're 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 figuring out what kind of product to sell and and, and a lot of the you know the... oh no we lost Mike Swanson lost he Mike. has also been kidnapped by aliens are you back, are sure. you back Mike <laughs> no Mike, I, was, I was gonna interject Mike with um yeah go ahead Jimmy. Oh, I, I was going to say, you know, Google even recognized um, the power and authority of Amazon. I mean, look at when they released their Google Store. I mean, it's not even part of the, you know, organic algorithm. They put it up above outside of that to risk any kind of lawsuits going into effect that, uh, you know, <laughs> would play favoritism with their own algorithm. It's right. kind of interesting. Yeah, yeah. It's almost like there's some opportunity in this. Hey Mike, on the funnel side, here's, a, here's an observation. Um, a lot of the, the really big marketers out there, they will lose money 
on all the front end just to get the customer to sell them on the back end. They get yeah. they'll do the cost per clicks and the trip sales and all that in order to get them to the core sale, and then it's the upsell and the funnel that really gets them over the top. Whereas here you can get them in the front door as a customer, build that relationship, and your lifetime customer value can be extraordinary. Yeah, because now now you're generating leads at a profit. Exactly. Okay, great. Uh, now, uh, I, I am so glad and so grateful that we put this together. I'm really excited about our Amazon plus Google technique. Now, they, uh, Jim, you mentioned something about network empires. Have you heard about this crazy, what is it, uh, uh, Death Star Reloaded thing? Uh, Death Star Reloaded. Yeah, I just heard something about that. Yeah, yeah. What, uh, do, do, you have any, uh, uh, do, do you have any thoughts on that yet? Uh I think everybody should ignore it. It's a, it's a fad. <laughs> Just a fad. So this this is a Death Star. And as you know, we think of our PBNs, our private blog networks, as point and explode the competition. With Death Star Reloaded, which Jimmy Kelly, Mike Pierce, mostly, well, I should say Mike Pierce, Jimmy Kelly, and Greg Morrison have developed. This is Mike's, Mike's idea to begin with, Mike Pierce's idea to begin with. Um, we're taking these these uh, PBN death stars that are so powerful and we're putting them on absolute steroids. Is this something that you're thinking about doing with your, uh, with your PBN, Jim? Um, sure. Sounds like a good idea. All right. Well, let's, uh, let's get into talking about death star reloaded. Jim, thank you so much for coming out. I really appreciate you jumping you're on. You're welcome, Mike. Great. Just thank Jim for, uh, for coming live. What I want to do now is turn the page and start talking about this Death Star Reloaded situation that we just let the cat out of the bag on last week. This was one of the first big bonuses that we talked about inside of OMG NHB 2014 Project X. And let me find out, we, we got another scoundrel that I tried to track down. Mike Pierce, are you live? Are you on this event? Mike Pierce. He's hiding from you. He, he is on here somewhere. <laughs> Michael P. Was, is who you're looking for. <laughs> I was hiding from you. P to the pizzle, <laughs> D to the dizzle. We've got, uh, let's go to Facebook.com here. This is uh, somebody that you, you're seeing more and more inside of our wonderful Facebook group. He is one Michael Pierce. And he is the uh, original inventor of the Death Star Reloaded technique that is now taking OMG by storm. Now, is this something that can actually be included an interface with this whole Amazon situation? Are you talking to me or Jimmy? You, man. You. You're, you're the special guy. You're talking to me. I am talking to you. I'm special. You are special. You're a special guy. So th th this, is, uh, this is Mike Pierce. This is the guy. He is a very loving father, as we can see. Um, Mike, uh, Death Star I got a related. rabbit. What's that? I got a rabbit. <laughs> So, uh, so Mike, thank you so much for coming live on this event. I'm so glad to have you here with Jimmy Kelly. We had you last week, and it was very exciting. Uh, we, we just started getting to talk about uh, Death Star Reloaded. Uh, and what you're doing here is you're taking the power of uh, tweets and Pinterest pins and, uh, and uh, delicious links and, and Digio links, and you are literally – souping up the power of our PBNs and making them literally much more powerful. And I believe that this is something that every single Project Xer should have on the slate. Now, you, you may not implement it today. That's fine. But it should definitely be on the chopping block, something that you are looking to jump in on very, very soon. Um, Mike, what's the idea? What's the basic idea behind Death Star Reloaded? How does it work? Harnessing the force. Um, yeah, no, it is. It's leveraging the uh, social media out there and the data hub sites that are tied in with Google to pull in a whole bunch of good juice towards your PBN properties, so that they don't sit there static and they don't start to decay. Instead of decaying, they start to kind of increase and 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 gain in power as time goes on. Okay, so this is, this is the graphic I made up during last week's event, which you can find in the new Network Empire section uh, dur during Money Game with Mike. 
And uh, so this is the basic idea behind a PBN, a private blog network site, is it's a site that we buy as an expired domain. And that site already has powerful links coming to it from places like wallstreetjournal.com or whitehouse.gov or you know, some, some blog like klkq.com or whatever. And then we use what we're doing, and this is very powerful on its own, all on its own, this is so incredibly powerful. We can just direct a link to whatever site that we want, like nashvilleseo.org. But what's happening with this Death Star Reloaded technique is you're, you're taking that PBN and you're literally making it much more powerful. So, so how does that work? So here's our PBN, pbn.com, or pbn1.com. Normally what we're doing is we're like making up a post on gold and just linking out to say goldiracustodians.com or something like that, and then maybe making another post on SEO and linking to nationalseo.org. What are all these these green and yellow and pink arrows? What's going on with that? That is the social love coming in from the different social sites. So what's happening is when we put up the PBN reload and we go through the process, we create this this machine that starts pulling in industry related video increasing the pages of your site that's all on the themes that you're promoting on that site tied closely into those links that are on that home page and then distributing that out and shredding that out and shoot it, shooting it out into multiple accounts across multiple properties how, how many uh, accounts are, and properties are we talking about uh, we're, we're rolling out properties constantly uh, we our armies are in the thousands and thousands of accounts um, per property and so, so, right now, so we're talking about like thousands of Twitter accounts, thousands yeah. of Pinterest accounts, thousands of delicious accounts, and thousands of Digio accounts. Right. And what's really cool about it, you just take Twitter, for example. So you take one, one, uh, one of your social signals that goes out to Twitter. The way we're doing it is uh, it will grab that uh, URL. Um, if there's any description brought in, it will grab the text and explode that into sentences. And then it'll also take the imagery. So you're actually making more than one point of juice flow on each property because you've got, you know, a Twitter image out there that's coming back towards you. You've got the actual status update and then the page. So there's the, all these points of flow that come back to those PBN sites and, and increase the, the authority of those PBN sites. Um, now, you know, go ahead. So, so, so at the end of the day, Google's telling us we want more social into your sites. But then going out and finding somebody to tweet you and to tweet every time you put up a new post on a video or every time you add a video to your account to fire things up, I mean, that's a lot of work. Yeah, I don't want to do that manually. That's why we did this, because <laughs> I'm lazy. Because you're this lazy. This is the Mike is lazy <laughs> machine. Okay. Now, one of the things, I, I know that people have a lot of questions about that Star Reloaded. Um, what, what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to pull this up right here. I'm going to go to Facebook.com, and I'm going to pull up the OMG Team Facebook group, and I'm going to make a dedicated thread, and it's going to be called All About Death Star Reloaded, starring Michael Pierce. Jimmy Jimmy Kelly. Jimmy Kelly. <laughs> I was going to say, we should explain, you know, one thing I think, I, you know, I, I kind of want to educate people a little bit. You really want to educate people? Educating look, people. Look, look, let's just yeah, pull, let's so. pull the wool over their eyes. They're, you know, they're zombies. They can't learn anything. They can't get good <laughs> at anything. They can't make any money. Let's just pump and dump. Let's just confuse them and bilk them for money and then, then just go on to the next group of suckers. Well, you know, I <laughs> would do that, but my moral sensibility. Oh, otherwise. moral schmoral. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is Jimmy <laughs> Kelly we're talking about, morals. So I, I just want to put this to the audience for a minute. So just think about this in your mind for a minute. Domain authority. It's a combination of all the pages on your site and the links that are going to that site that build your domain authority. So... So think of that for a moment. Um, you think of like the, the really big domain authority sites out there, like Amazon, for instance, got thousands of pages, thousands of products. You know, people link to it from their websites because they're selling products, whatever it is. 
So how do you manipulate that? It, you know, just just think about that in their minds for a moment. So let's take, for instance, let's say you put up two posts. Let's just say we're dealing with a new a new blog that you put out. Let's say you put up two posts, and let's say it gets a Twitter tweet. Uh, you you pin your picture on that post, and let's say you share the post with Facebook. So there's three links that are going to that post, and you did two of them. And you did the same thing on both of those posts. Now let's say you took the exact same replica, everything, and you did it to a second site, and let's say you did five posts on the second one. Which one would have more domain authority? Give me a one if you understand what I'm saying. Yeah, let's try to get this straight. I really want people to understand this concept that, that Jimmy's talking about. Okay, good, we're getting good comprehension. Give us a two if not, and, and, and whenever you type in a two, if possible, try to give us an idea. We're getting about, uh, 60, 40. It's about 50. Yeah, it's, uh, it's still mixed. Okay, how else do you explain this? Okay, so, um, so, so, so let, me, let me say what, what Jimmy said, uh, just kind of a slightly different way. Um, so let's say I've got one website. Let's just take things to the extreme. It's a little bit easier to understand this way. A little David Mills technique. Let's say we have one website that has uh, uh, five, uh, five posts on it. Uh, and five posts or five, you know, it's a blog, whatever. It has five articles on it and that's it. That's all that it has on it. It has, you know, 10 backlinks and five articles. Okay. So that's scenario one. Uh, scenario two, we have the exact same website. It has five articles and 10 links, but it also has, uh, let's say a hundred tweets, a uh, hundred Pinterest pins, a hundred delicious uh, links into it and a hundred Digio links. So it has hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of uh, inbound social links. Do you think that Google is going to give you more credit for the first site with no social or more credit for the second site that has hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of social links into it? So give me the number one if you think that the second site is going to get lots and lots more love and give me the number two if you think that the first site with no social love is going to benefit. Okay, so now we're getting 100% comprehension. Looks like that looks like right around 100%. Okay, a couple of people this, said this too, is what but, this method, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say this is what this method is is done, is taken this concept and made it automated. So I, so what like you so what you're saying is right. So, so like So go ahead, Mike. Yeah. Uh, basically what what it does is in some of our pre-testing and stuff, you actually see um, the index and filtered penalized blogs start to recover because of the trust metrics that come through when you have start to have the social signals, uh, let alone aside from the actual linking. So taking that kind of power and throwing it into your PBNs, it just it keeps adding additional trust in and authority directly into it. I'll leave you guys alone for like two minutes and then I got radio silence. Everyone still there? You're getting a uh, total silence? You guys hear me? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I can, I hear, can you. hear you. <laughs> okay, great. Uh, sorry, I, I, I literally just couldn't hold it any longer. I had to run to the bathroom, ran, ran right back. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, so, so, so at the end of the day, um, what we're doing is we're saying like, let, let's imagine that this, let, let's just contrast these two scenarios. This PBN here has got these links coming into it and no other links. And then it links to national SEO. And then we compare it with this PBN right here. I should call it PBN number two. Let's just make this PBN number two.com if I can. It'll actually probably be significantly hard for me to, to uh, so let's say this is PBN two.com. Uh, Mike Pierce, how much more powerful is, is PBN2.com than PBN1.com that has no social signals? 
we want to give it a number, just uh, yeah. I mean, let's say it's it's a much more trusted property. It, it's a much more trusted property. So right. yeah, what what, what are the benefits? I, I was gonna say you could almost think of this as PR. So replace PR with DA. Um, uh, think of it in that terms, like. So if you're trying to rank a site and you're sending PBNs to that site, what if you sent more PBNs automatically to that site? Would the site be stronger the more PBNs that you send to it? Would the PR increase? Think of it in that sense. I think it would make sense. Right, so obviously we're gonna get a massive boost in the juice of the website. Okay, so let's go through some of the benefits of this. Number one, which is going to be more enduring, okay? Like, which is gonna be more valuable over time? PBN number one that has no social links into it, or PBN number two that has tons of social links into it, okay? Obviously, PBN number two is gonna be more valuable because, it, and remember, it still has, you know, the, the same kind of links coming into it, uh, the, the same kind of uh, regular links coming into it, all right? it's going to look more valuable because it has more links, more diverse links, more social signals saying, hey, this is a cool site. Now, PBN number two is also being constantly updated, okay? It's being constantly updated with new content, new videos, all right? So it is fresher. It is newer, okay? Is there a doomsday coming down the line for people who just buy PBNs and don't do anything to the PBN just link with it and then that's it. Maybe, we don't know, okay, we don't know. Very possible, I will tell you that, very possibly. Is it coming tomorrow? No, it's not coming tomorrow, okay? Is it coming next week? Probably not. Is it coming next month? No, like almost certainly not. Next year, eh, almost certainly not. Is it coming? Very good chance, okay? Very good chance it is coming. That's not even the reason I want you to do this, okay? Something. Go ahead, Jimmy. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, I was going to say, like, something you got to consider, too. If you don't send any more links to that site, what happens over time is, because you're buying the PBN for the, for the PR. Yeah. You know, so switch the PR for the DA. What happens if no other links come into that site, and the sites they're linking to you realize that it's not an active site, and it's not based around what it used to be, and links start dropping off? What happens to the PR of that domain? It drops, right? So you don't have any new juice coming in that's going to keep that PBN strong for what you're putting your investment into. Right. So the whole goal around this is to try and keep your investment that you're making on these stronger so, um, and not just, you know, even for when you bought it, but actually stronger over time. So, now, so, so, so the first benefit of this is longevity, okay? But you know what? Nobody wants to hear about longevity, and we already know that. So that's okay. That's why longevity is just the bonus, okay? The real value in this for you, the real world value right now today is that your PBNs are going to massively outperform a PBN that doesn't have this process to it, okay? Yes, your PBNs are already strong, very strong, okay? But what we're doing with this is we're putting them on absolute steroids. That means that you can pay less for PBNs, you can buy cheaper PBNs, less powerful PBNs, and you can take the PBNs that you already have that are already going good and make them much, much, much stronger. And that's what we want for you, okay? That's what we want for you, and that's why we want you to have so much more power in this. And, let's see what, okay, yep, absolutely. Um, so you're just going to get much more power out of these sites. To give you an idea, one of the tests that Mike Pierce and Jimmy Kelly and Russell and Sue did with their team is they took brand new websites straight out of the box that they had just registered from GoDaddy or whatever. They plugged in PBM Reloaded. These are not private blog network sites. These are sites that are brand new with no links at all. And what were the results that you guys saw in terms of domain authority uh, taking uh, – uh, taking these brand new sites from obviously starting out with zero domain authority, where did they wind up after 90 days? Uh, between about 12 and 25. Between 12 and 25. Uh, how, how much would a 
DA25 uh, PBN cost. It's going to be significant money. Okay. I just sent you a couple images there, Mike, on some of the testing that we did. If you want to pull it up, just kind of show the power. Did you send me on it. Skype or where did you send? No, they sent them privately here on webin on the webinar link on yeah, GoTo. Let me have a look. Pull the back. screencasts. And then it just kind of shows the power of what's going on behind the scenes. And when you start to actually get that into your, you know what, Mike, I'm, I'm not team. seeing, I'm not seeing that link. Uh, All right. Could you Skype it you to me, me to please? You want me to ping you on Skype? Yeah. Could you could you ping me on Skype? Thanks. Since I obviously don't know how to use GoTo, yeah, you know. I need an ebook, Mike. Can you help me out? Hey, hit it up on uh, hit it up on Google. You see it? <laughs> stick it up let's, there on let's Amazon. Let's hire a ghostwriter to go write the book, and then we'll go promote it on Amazon, Mike. Exactly. <laughs> All right, I'm going to pull the other link too. I sent you that one, and then I'm sending okay. you one more. Dude, after I had a blog that was doing twenty thousand visits per day. Let's let's zoom in on twenty. This. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, go go go. All right, dude, I had uh, I had a blog that was doing twenty k visits per day. Lost all my rankings until uh, it was doing twenty to thirty visits per day. Then part of it got de-indexed, uh, but it was MU. What's MU? Uh, it was a multi-user site, so it was subdomains. So there was some different differentiation in the penalties across different parts of the site. Got it. So part of it was uh, DNX, part of it wasn't. I've right. never heard uh, of Google only DNXing part of a website, but it happened anyways. WR1 in the plague. Okay. Anyway, added WR1s with the plugin. So this is with Death Star Reloaded, and Google re-indexed the entire site. Visits are up to three hundred dollars, or sorry, three hundred per day in two weeks in climate. So that's a, that's a real world test result. Yeah, that's just social explosion. Okay, now what we're looking at here is an audience overview. Okay. So social ex explosion installed right at this point. We're just creeping along, creeping along, and then boom. <coughs> okay, that's a huge increase in a very short period of time. Audience overview. Social explosion here. Audience overview here. And who doesn't? He doesn't want more traffic to their site anyway. And, yeah. and, and the point necessarily on the PBNs is not necessarily that, the, that you actually necessarily want the traffic there, but this is just showing the power of what these metrics do um, in Google's eyes and, and, and what the power behind how the social is when it comes to Google looking at everything. So as you're flowing that into your PBN, you're flowing that all the way up to your money site. Yeah, and, 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 that's, and that is really, really going to matter over time, uh, immediately and over time. Now, something that I want everyone to know about this is one of the big questions that people have is, can Death Star be Reloaded be applied to a money site? Okay, can Death Star be re, uh, Reloaded be applied to a money site? Now, to me, if I'm you and you're, you're a project actor, you're watching this event, um, I think a fair question would be, okay, Mike, if this is so good, would you be willing to put this on nashvilleseo.org? Give me number one if that is a fair question to ask. If Death Star Reloaded is so good, would you be willing to put it on your baby and put it on nashvilleseo.org? I think a lot of people think it is. Mike Pierce, are you seeing that? Yeah, I am, definitely. There's a lot of ones coming in. Some good a lot of ones. ones coming in. <laughs> and I... Guys, do you want to think about maybe maybe we should do that? What do you guys think about that? <laughs> yeah, I mean, absolutely. Like social explosion, you can install on money. So any WordPress site, I would say, install social explosion. Okay. Uh, Mike, uh, could you build that uh, time machine and we'll go back in time a week and, and go ahead and do it? Done. Done. Okay, guys, I did it. It's right there. It is. It is installed on Nashville SEO, and we are taking NashvilleSEO.org national, okay? We are taking NashvilleSEO.org national because we just don't dominate enough. It just, I'm sorry, it just, you know, it's just not dominant enough. We have to start taking national rankings as well. So we are actually using Social Explosion, the whole, pro the whole kit and caboodle, and plugging it in to NashvilleSEO.org to massively build the DA right now, uh, to, as of today, the, the DA for it is like, what is it, Mike, 25? I think we're at 25. Where are we going to take it to? We're going to, I think we're taking it up to 60 and 70, aren't we, guys? Jimmy? 
Jimmy. Jimmy. Where now let me see what the competition level is real quick. Let me see. Oh, for which, which query? One? For SEO or SEO services? Yeah. And, and Let's I, do SEO services. Services, SEO to services to start. Yeah. Okay, services. Let's see what we're dealing with here. We got a seventy-one to get to. Seventy-one. Right. What about digital marketing? To... What, what's there for digital marketing? Uh, one minute. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Eighty-seven. Can we do that? Absolutely. <laughs> Magic. Okay. Now, and, and just so you know, uh, uh, J Jimmy, Jimmy co-owns uh, Nashville SEO with me, Greg, and David Mills. So, you know, he's putting his money where his mouth is. Too. So the answer is yes. We are serious about Death Star Reloaded. We are serious as death about Death Star Reloaded. Okay. This is a big, big technique. It has a lot of awesome power. Uh, give me the number one if you can commit to joining us for Death Star Reloaded. Pumping it into your your PBN, pumping it into your money sites. Give me the number one if you're if you're on track with us. All right, great. Let me take you inside of how to join us for Death Star Reloaded. I'm gonna go to omgmachines.com. I'm gonna log into the Project X Spring members area. Okay. Uh, what you're gonna do uh, to get all this goodness from Project X Spring. Uh, this, and of course, this is the same as your regular Project X members area. You'll go to your Supremacy main page, and this is where PBN's boosted and reloaded. This is where you can get the lessons from Greg on how to do PBM reloaded. Okay, it's right here, step-by-step, -step, detailed instructions. Here's the free post-to-page plugins right here, the social explosion plugins right here, and then the optional B Kraken plugin. If you have questions, go to the Facebook group. We have an all-new all about Death Star Reloaded uh, thread that's in there, okay? In addition to that, we did a whole webinar last week and it is in your Network Empires. It's your all new, all awesome Network Empires area, which is, where is it guys? Right here, training and software from Network <laughs> Empires. This is yet another all new area inside of project x because we're awesome yeah and i was gonna say like you know there's a there is a subscription based on you know some people are asking about that for the armies and it just depends on how big you want you know we went as low as ten dollars a month all the way up to what was it mike what's the top level that they can I get think for we're, i think level? before you get to unlimited i think it's up at 800 yeah right so 797 or so it it just depends on how much uh, social juice you want to push to your site and, and, and how many sites is, you're going to install it on. Yeah, and the good news is you can scale up as you go. So you don't have to start with the mega the mega package, but the great news is when you get to that mega level, they'll be ready for you, okay? And that's a good feeling. That's a good feeling because you can scale up as you go. Am I expecting everybody or anybody starting at that top level? No, I'm not, and don't even want it. But what I do want is for you to scale up and grow with this. This is the uh, last week's Money Game with Mike webinar where we first introduced you to Mike Pierce. I think some people are trying to compose some Mike Pierce songs. In the meantime, we'll just have to go with Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. <laughs> um, <laughs> We need to come up with a song for Mike. <laughs> oh, no, I already got one. It's oh, not dang. safe for your ears there, Jimmy. Uh, you, have mor you have morals and everything. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> um, you know, I wanted to go back to the money site stuff. I said, this, uh, this technology is one of the core um, tools in my tool chest when I'm in there ranking for terms like luxury travel and things like that. So this is one of the only ways, like this is one of the tools that allows me to tackle large queries and, and it's a core integrated part of how I do my SEO. And we are doing this right now Look at with nationalseo.org. Look at Ivan's comment just there that he posted in there. I, I don't know if you Ivan, see that. 7.47 p.m. Uh, just made this site today uh, with a plugin. Look at the stats, unique visitors, unique pages. Yeah, I, don't, I get those, yep. Yeah. I don't quite get it. 
Ivan, I'm so not. So that's the visitor increase to oh, that I site see it after now. installing the plugin. Oh, wow. So it went from 18 to 106 visitors in one day. Yeah, and, and these visits matter in Google's eyes. Yeah, that's a huge, that is a social explosion. That is a social explosion. Um, okay, great. Um, I, we're going to keep talking about this. You're going to keep hearing me talk about this. One of the things that I've been willing to do with National SEO is open it up for you. Open it up as you see this growing, thriving business. You know, build and, and create right before your eyes, just like Greg has done with KLKS.com. And if you want to know what we're doing right now with National SEO, the answer is social explosion. We are exploding it. Will this work for affiliate sites? Yes. Will this work for sites for your own products? Yes. Will this work for your day job pillow sites? Yes. Is this an unfair advantage for your PBNs? Absolutely. Okay. This is something we want you to do. It is awesomely powerful, and we do want you to join. This is one of the advantages. If anybody who's ever been worried about, well, are you know too many other people competing for PBNs? Yes, you have the insane advantage of having Greg and Fletch guide you in the creation of these PBNs so you do it cheaper and more powerful than anybody else. What we now want you to do is take that incredible firm basis and put it on steroids. And Absolutely. that's what you're going to be able to do with your Death Star Reloaded. Now, Jimmy. Once you today, protect your investment, protect say and that grow with your me. Protect and grow your investment. That is what this is designed for. Now, now Jimmy, uh, while they're protecting and growing their investment, can they take a PBN that is wired up with Death Star Reloaded and link to their Amazon pages? Absolutely. Damn. PBNs will move a site no matter where you're directing to. You know, you could send it to your – this is the beauty of it. You have a PBN. Let's say you're on a low budget. You can only link to, like, certain money sites. You're thinking of money sites only. You can link to your Amazon page. You put up an Amazon project that's a different URL that you can link to within the PBN. So why not take advantage of the power that you bought? Take advantage of the power. Protect and grow your investment. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Has this been the greatest webinar that you have ever been on in your life? I just want to know. And if it hasn't, don't give me no hyperbole. I don't need it. I don't need my ego stroked anymore, obviously. Okay. Just want to know if this has been the best Webby ever. So let's go over to OMG. Now, I personally do believe that it has been the best Webby ever. I, it started out crazy. Uh, you know, again, uh, Brad Mabry wandered out of Spencer's gifts and, uh, and, you know, told me his sob story about having gotten kicked out of One Direction. But somehow we turned it around. Best Webby ever. <laughs> <laughs> if uh, if you feel and only if you feel like this was the absolute best webby ever then please let us know right on this thread right here and if it wasn't absolutely no problem I will cry I won't cry for too long because I have a video game to play and I have stuff to do but but I'll cry if you don't <laughs> I, you know I was going to say Mike you, like, you guys don't release anything or anything that is not beneficial to the members I mean Anything that you put in there is only to make them more money, and that's. But we're, but we're going to start soon. We're, we're going to start pumping yeah. out crap anytime now. Oh, I don't think so. That, that's <laughs> not in your nature. I mean, really, anyone that's in this community, city on a hill, you know, it's meant to generate more money for these people, and um, you know, who who can appreciate that? Yeah, that, but I'm going to start listening to the. I am going to start listening to the gurus and the hucksters anytime now. I'm seriously, it's right around the bend that I will be following the guru formula and I'll be hiring a bunch of employees and starting to go to networking events and, you know, talk to gurus all the time. That's well, if, if you want to sell your GTR to me, just let me know. <laughs> <Not selling my GTR. laughs> no, Jimmy, no. The GTR is the guru slayer. It is the, uh, it is the guru slayer. Well, this is really great. No, no, it's uh, seriously for, for all my sarcasm. Um, th you know, th this really matters to us. OMG is a city on a hill. It is a place where friends come together in Providence. And that's what this event has been about. That's why I was so excited to get you to come 
live on this webinar today. And it, it matters to me a lot. It, it does. Uh, you know, we've said it again and again. David Mills designed OMG to be 50% to stuff dirty, filthy profit into our pockets and 50% to enjoy and revel in your success and hear your earnings reports. Okay. We love to hear your public earnings reports. It matters to us so much. Every single time we get one, whether it's Janet's first day job killer local client consulting project or you know, Mike Swanson and Jimmy's and, and Brad's six figure Amazon earnings reports or, or just somebody getting their first WordPress site up, getting over that tech barrier. Listen, I know that every single person here is going to run into a tech jam here and there. I know that everyone here is going to get absolutely bombarded by complete guru nonsense, okay? And we are the ones here to drop the frickin' hammer on those guys because, I don't know, they just bore me. Like, I mean, when are you going to get so bored by the guru guys that you just get off their freaking list? Like, if this event isn't going to convince you to get off the guru guys' list, what is? Money. Oh, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean it. I was going to say, I it's like it. they're trying to funnel. That's what it comes down to is they want to fish you in. They, they want to take your money, and that's not what this group is about. It's really not. We do want your money. And, well, but the thing is, is look how many earnings reports that are – well, there exactly. is that. Yeah, I was going to say, you can't fake that. You just can't fake it. So, you know, why why not? I don't know. There's, there's a brand new. There. Th th this is incredibly important. I want to leave you with this thought. David Mills has put out an all new MP3, and we've been getting rave reviews on this. It's, uh, where is it? Right here. Click, click through here to download the MP3 about make money online offers and the rest of the elements to online success. This is right here in your uh, April 21st latest news feed. It's by David Mills. And I think it's really going to bring things home for you. Okay. Uh, for all my sarcasm, I, 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 I get in a fist fight for you. And I think that everybody here knows it. Okay. Um, I, I want to see you have massive success. You know, we have, Oh my gosh. Daryl Ferguson got my first two hundred dollars from a customer today. Congratulations, Daryl! Look at that. Congratulations. Yeah, that is awesome. Awesome. I, you know, look at what do you say? Uh, do you see David McWilliams comment in there? In the uh, there's a lot comments. of comments. Let me find out. Oh, you mean in the all in the, the way to the bottom, like three to, to the bottom. Go to webinar or in the the Facebook. Uh, yeah, go to webinar. Sorry. Okay, let me have a look. David McWilliams. Should pull him live. <laughs> all right, we'll do it. Gotta find him. This has been a lot. Let's more. call on people. <laughs> yeah, I I can't find him, but I'll just bring him live and see what happens. David McWilliams. Let's find out if David has a speaker. David, are you there? David McWilliams. Hi there. Hey man, what did you? Uh, I, I didn't see your post, but David said you posted something. What did you say? Well, I've managed to pay for the course uh, this week in its entirety from getting a customer on board. What? The that you guys talk. Yeah, so I got is this an earnings report? Are we getting a, a live a, a live earnings my, report? My very first official live earnings report. Three grand a month off a, off a new client. So what's the scoop? What happened? I um, done a video um, for him. Uh, sent him a YouTube link. Sent him a DVD with a post-it note attached to the top. He called me in for a meeting. Said, love what you've shown me. Love what you're doing. I gave him a, a high price, a mid price, and a low price. And they went straight into the mid price uh, with an agreement to move up to five grand a month after three months uh, once they see return on investment. Oh my gosh. So five grand you made? Yeah, so I've made three plus 1900 set up um, straight off the bat, month up front. And then I'll move to five grand a month after three months. So, so you already collected $5,000 and in three months it's going to move to $5,000 per month? Yes. So OMG, kind of a sketchy investment for you basically? It was, you know, I'm still thinking, you know, is it worth it? Um, <laughs> How would you like this event today? Do you, like uh, you like the Amazon plus Google and the Death Star Reloaded? Uh, Death Star Reloaded I've already implemented as, you know, in as many places as, as I can. 
um, the Amazon stuff blew my mind, if I'm being honest. I was all, unfortunately, get sucked into a, another course prior to joining with you guys um, last year. Mm -hmm. um, and what you guys are teaching just blows it out of the water. Yeah, but, but, you, but you didn't have to pay any more money for it then. No, not at all. No, so it's, doesn't it's that all make you feel kind of bad about, about it? I mean, don't, don't you feel like you should be, you know, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I, I wish that money had went on uh, other, you know, PDNs and subscriptions for some social <laughs> activation and stuff. But you know, you live and learn. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, OMG is a city on a hill, and you know, why why did we do this webinar today? Because of because of you, David. Because I knew that you were coming with this earnings report. You know, oh. every single time someone joins our city on a hill community, and this isn't is this the last of it for you? Or are you going to be wrapping up? Say that again, sorry? Is this it for you or are you going to keep wrapping up? Are you going to do more and more? Well, I've been for eight months, I've been trying to be a local SEO company. Um, now, I've, in the last three months, I've got another three clients. In um, the last two months or month and a half since I'm joining you guys, um, the clients that I've got have just been completely different caliber. The way I'm approaching it's completely different. That's um, wonderful. So I'm really pushing, what, what pushing are some, hard for this. What are some things that you're doing? Uh, what are some things that you're taking out of our training that are helping you? just to help other people? Um, systemizing it, going through it with a process. Um, these webinars are invaluable in my, my, my experience from what you guys are doing and the inspiration that you're doing. Um, and then actually implementing real world things that actually work rather than, you know, it's, it's hard to, if you don't have the knowledge to implement something that you're not sure is going to work. But the confidence it gives you knowing that it's already working means you can implement it straight away and it means that any clients you do bring on from a local perspective or if you've got an affiliate site or whatever it is you're doing, you know that that time is well spent because you're going to see a result. I love it. David, thank you so much. It is so valuable to me and it's so valuable to David Mills. It is so valuable to Greg Morrison. It's so valuable to Fletch, to, uh, to Jimmy Kelly and to each member of our City on a Hill community for you to come live for you to share your experience, for you to open your heart. Uh, I just I just appreciate it. We did this no. bonus for you. Thank you very much. All right, God bless you. All right, so the word's in. OMG basically sucks. Sorry, we tried. <laughs> oh, just kidding. It's awesome. I know, I know. All right, um, I want to congratulate David. Congratulations, David. That's awesome. Oh man, barn burner, barn burner. This one has been a biggie. This one's been crazy. Um, gosh, uh, Jimmy, uh, you just went nuts today. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, I know. I've had a, I've had a bottle of wine, so I could have something. To <laughs> a whole bottle. <laughs> it's, it's, Good for you. Red you wine, know, I, Jimmy. You know, I, I get more. Yeah, I get more open and just want to help people. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy's going to start getting balls of wine. I remember that the for the event. Right left. <laughs> Everyone yeah, keep really. that in mind. Now, does anybody actually like want to want a bottle buy buy Jimmy Kelly a bottle of wine at OMG Live? If, if you're planning on attending OMG Live and, and getting Jimmy sauce and trying to pump him for information, uh, let, let's see. I, let's type in. You uh, know, that's the best way to do it. I tell you what. <laughs> All right, let's let's see what what do we do for that. Pound, <laughs> OMG, live, Nashville. If you are if, if you are planning on joining us at OMG Live Nashville, uh, give me a hashtag OMG Live Nashville. I'm just curious, just to get an initial head count, just from this event here. I'm just kind of curious how many people are planning on joining us because because I, Jimmy, I are, are you going to be spilling some beans on on uh, like really getting down and dirty no. with uh, some some Amazon secrets? Absolutely. You know, I think, um, you know, I think we spilled a lot of good secrets at the last one. You know, I, I'd almost be interested to bring Mike Hayden live and see what his thoughts were on the last, uh, well, find last event. But let's find out. Let's bring him You live. know, absolutely. We try to spill some beans, you know, things that are not discussed, uh, you know, bringing you can, people into the inner circle. My, and my, OMG I'm Live is in that. November, by the way, for all those questions. Yeah. There. Yeah. It's around November 15th. Oh my gosh. There's a lot of people that are going to be coming. Mike Hayden, are you there? I uh, sure am. Now, you, uh, how, how far did you travel to go to OMG Live Nashville last year? Um, 
Well, it would have been quicker to go the other way around the world, but the flights don't fly that way. So how far? How, 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 long, uh, how long did you travel? I was in the air for, I think, 18 hours. But actual travel time was uh, 28 hours. I was lucky with some direct flights. And then how much did that cost you all together? Um, well, the flights were more expensive than the uh, ticket. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, so it was, it, it, I believe it was in excess of $5,000 for you. Was that right? All together? Uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was about six grand. Yeah. Okay. Well, Worth it? Uh, well, given that I've uh, made more than that this month, mainly from, um, mainly from the stuff that I learned and connections that I made in Nashville, it was definitely worth it. Wow. That sounds pretty good. So uh, yeah. at, 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 uh, at OMG Live, uh, I, I asked people to raise their hands if they made their money to come to the event. You're one of the people who made the money. We had, uh, we had three out of every four people who were at the event raise their hand. And uh, so w what are some of the things that, uh, that you got from OMG Live Nashville last year that helped you? The biggest thing was the personal connections. Um, you know, got with got with some people like, for example, Clinton, and we uh, we launched our web design product. That was um, that was a direct result from um, from hanging out in Nashville. You know, uh, got to spend some time with guys like Jimmy and uh, yourself. And um, one of the biggest things for me, though, was the you know meeting David Mills, and then you know actually you know the yeah, a lot of impromptu breakout session that he, he dropped all those bombs on law of implication. Um, and then obviously the actual teaching itself was fantastic. So basically it sucked. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> people, people should stay away. <laughs> Did you no, it, was, it was fantastic. And um, yeah, uh, it's a, it's a long way for me to travel both in time and, um, cost, but the cost is the cost is negligible compared to the um, just on a financial scale of return on investment. Um, you know, stay up for forty eight hours each way because well, and, and you you dragged eleven Aussies with you. Yes, so it was pretty cool. That that, that is pretty cool. Now, now, what do you think about uh, today's event? Oh, uh, it's fantastic. Um, uh, I've been implementing the PBN Reloaded stuff. Um, and yeah, so so that's uh, that's been good, um, and yeah, definitely after after today's event, I'll be working more on the Amazon front. I mean, some of that stuff. Wow. So so ba basically, you you wish that you were just chasing around shiny objects, and you wish that you were just on everyone else's list, right? I do, yeah. Because <laughs> um, you know, sometimes I, I get lonely over in Perth, you know. There's, there's sure. no one to talk to, so I, so I just go and sign up to, to, to random lists. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm not sure if I'm on. Uh, pretty much the only lists I'm on are those uh, spam ones that I keep getting signed up to for some reason. Yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah, unsubscribe, unsubscribe, unsubscribe. Yeah, yeah, that's the way to go. Well, I, I uh, that's the perfect way to, to cap off this event. Uh, I want to thank uh, I want to thank everybody for joining this event. OMG is a city on a hill. Uh, it's a place where friends come together in Providence. I pray to Jesus Christ uh, for uh, each and every person here to have wisdom and health, and that God take care of you just like you're a little baby infant. And I, you know, it matters to me very much. Uh, I want to see you to continue to have like. Extraordinary providence, extraordinary success. Looks like one or two people are going to be coming to OMG Live Nashville, uh, according to according to what I'm seeing on the Facebook page here. Uh, this has been a very special event for me. Uh, I loaded up for this. I, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you'll study the replay. I hope you'll gear up for our Amazon uh, unit that's coming out with Brad Mabry. Um, that is going to be awesome. Um, I hope that you are, are gearing up. Uh, to hear uh, from Mike Swanson when we release his incredible list building extravaganza and and that you uh, just rip into PBN uh, Reloaded, to Desktop Reloaded. I cannot begin to tell you how important it is to be learning from these non-gurus. I am no guru. Greg is no guru. David Mills is no guru. Nor is Fletch, nor is Jimmy, nor is Mike Swanson, nor is Brad Mabry. This is a guru-free zone. 
nor is Mike Hayden. These people that you're learning from. Uh, 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 Mike Pierce, are you a guru? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> you are not. Stop it. L listen, it is such a big deal. <laughs> the odd man out. <laughs> it is such a big deal because I will tell you what gurus do. Gurus flap their lips talking to other gurus. They sit around on Skype playing grab panties or whatever it is that they do. And <laughs> they, they just regurgitate information it's... and try to bilk you for money. And that's fine if that's what you want. But it is you get so much more learning from real people who are in the trenches, making money, loading up their wallets, getting filthy rich, doing this stuff. Okay, there's a reason why OMGers get 50 to 200 times success of these people that are out there claiming that their programs are the very best. Jimmy, the final word. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, pay attention to what's going on out in those, you know, when you see those lists, you got you to gotta consider the avenue that they're taking. What's their perspective? What's their end goal? They're not looking out for your best interest. They are looking out for getting money in their pocket. That is completely opposite of what David Mills, Mike Long, and Greg Morrison have put together. And they are doing nothing but looking out for your best interests. Well, and we want money. Well, money's good, but you care more about your, about your people. And you know it's true. <laughs> okay, that's true. But still, I want money. <laughs> but it is true. Okay, um, I love each of you. I want you guys to absolutely destroy it with what you've learned today. Now, the last thing I want to hear is Amazon plus Google. Amazon plus, plus Google. Google. Let's see it. I want every single person here, every single person needs to commit to this, to be doing Amazon plus Google. Every single person. There's no excuse. It needs to be a part of your business model. Every single person needs to do this. I want your firm commitment, your code with me, that you are gonna do this. I want your word, and I want you to keep your word. Amazon plus Google, every single person, Amazon plus Google. I wanna see it from every single person. I can see who's on the event right now, so if you're not typing it, I know it, okay? Amazon plus Google. I have 179 people still on this event. I want to see Amazon plus Google 179 times in this question box. Okay? It is such a no-brainer. It is such a no-brainer. It's so powerful. It is such an easy way to get started and to rock it forward. And I want you to have this. I want every single person to have extraordinary success here. It does matter so much to me. I would get in a fist fight for you. And you know, you guys know how I feel, okay? OMG is a city on a hill. I want to see Amazon plus Google reports flying in like crazy. Amazizzle plus Google Zizzle. <laughs> you got that from Dan Sheehan. Amazon plus Google. I want to see it from every single individual on this event. Everyone, okay? Because I want you to have success with it, all right? There's Pip Patton. Pip came to OMG Live Nashville. You would not believe what Pip went through to go to OMG Live Nashville, by the way. Okay? But it was worth it. OMG is a city on a hill. Josh Irving, that is so lazy. A plus G? I like it. <laughs> That's like the Mike Pierce method. Mike, Mike Pierce would have like some automated bots resistance. do it for him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. I, I dragged Mike my little would, brother out to me. Mike That's would write an app for that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good. See Rob, see, Rob Jeffries goes the extra mile. He actually types it out. I like that. I like that. This is a wonderful group. It's a wonderful, you know, OMG is such a special place, and each individual matters to us so much. Never think that it doesn't matter to us. Never think that. You know, I, I just, never in your worst dreams, like, I know what caring is. I know what it means. I've constructed it. I understand it. I definitely care about you. I definitely care about your success. I track this down for you. Do it. Okay? It is so powerful. You know, we are doing things that are breaking the mold every day 
This is so easy. This is so accessible. Every single individual can do this. Amazon plus Google. Okay. Very powerful. Boom, boom, pow, Rob Jeffries. I love it. Let's, let's get the, let's get the boom, boom, pow going. Let me find this. Boom. Rob's a great guy. Um, Lauren said she spent three days with the Black Eyed Peas when they were in uh, Perth. I don't know what that means, or in Australia. I don't know exactly what that means, but it sounds good to me. I will find I will find the video and I'll add it. Give me a second. Let's see. Um, you want to put up your email for questions, Mike? I know. Uh, for people who are yeah. wanting more. I've had a few, I see a few of those comments in there. Maybe you could just drop that in there for people. Yeah, sure. If you have questions on joining stuff or trying to get information on the products, email Mike Long. All right, there we go. Skype Jimmy. Okay. No, <laughs> poor no. Definitely not Skype Jimmy. <laughs> we, we, we need, we need the, no, the no. limited amount of time that we have with Jimmy Kelly needs to be carefully focused and funneled. <laughs> Okay, um, we have 291 comments on the Facebook thread from this. Uh, Rebecca says, Amazon plus Googly Moogly. I like it. Uh, OMG Live National will, will be the weekend of November 15th. That is when it will be. Um, awesome, awesome, awesome event. I love it. I love it. Uh, Mike, uh, Mike Pierce, we're really glad you joined our, uh, our city on a hill. Really, really Thanks glad. Thanks for having me. me. Yeah. Yeah, this is, this is going to be a biggie. Big 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 time ed sableton says amazon plus google equals love you long time <laughs> amazon <laughs> that's right george that's right okay omg the city on a hill very very special uh individuals that we have that have, have combined and joined forces here making millions of dollars a month very proud of each and every one of you uh very proud of this event um liz the beginners group uh, I, I will add you to the beginners group liz no problem I'll just do it right now. Right now, you'll get to see it happen live. Boom. Hands, hands together for Greg Morrison, too, for making this possible for each and every one of us. Yeah, it's such an honor. It is such an honor working with Greg. I, I, I wish he was here today for this. This is a... Uh, Liz. All right, Liz, I, I'm going to have to... I'll, I'll, I'll add you later on. Make sure you're friend with me, Liz, and I'll, I'll make sure to add you. Um, yeah, I, I keep this... Uh, I love this beginner script. This is great. And we, and we will be launching an Amazon group soon, too. Um, so thank you to everyone on this event. Thank you to David Mills. Thank you to Greg Morrison. Uh, thank you to Fletch and, and everybody's involved. Incredible event today. Mike Swanson, uh, Brad Mabry. Uh, yeah, we, of course we had Jimmy here, Mike Pierce here, special guests that jumped on Mike Hayden. Uh, you know, we had Janet jump on Jim, uh, Dave, uh, uh we, we had Dave Keys. We had Dave McWilliams. It's craziness, craziness. Absolutely nuts. If you if I miss you, I'm sorry. There's so many people. It was so awesome. Uh, just an amazing, amazing, amazing event today. Very, very proud of everyone who's involved in this event. OMG is a city on a hill. It is all happening. I want to thank each of you. Uh, Jimmy, thank you. Uh, you make it a lot more fun. I'll tell you that much. Yep, absolutely. Thanks for having me. All right, guys. God bless I appreciate everybody. appreciate it. Yep. Mike Pierce, thank you so much. Really excited about what we're doing with National SEO. Very excited about Death Star Reloaded. Thank you. All right. God bless everybody. Good night.